Oh, yeah. What up? We're back. Die Party Omen. Week number, what, 17? That's right. Dungeons and Dragons, 5th edition. You might have heard of it. It's a game where we roll dice and pretend to be people that are better than us, but sometimes aren't. Um, but sometimes mm. are the same person. Just a different race. Like an orc or something. That's Dungeons and Dragons in a nutshell. We've got people from the internet. Hello, people from the internet. Let me introduce Hello. them. First up, number one. Daddy Sheepdo. What up, sir? How you doing? Hey, I'm Sheepdog. I'm nothing like my character. A paranoid <laughs> human who thinks everyone's out to get him. Oh, I don't know about that. That seems pretty much spot on. You're a paranoid sheepdog that thinks that everyone's out to get him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been mass recording videos. I have currently 30 videos ready to be scheduled. Are um, you pooping soon. them out like hot lasagna or like, what are, what are you, are you making them? Like, what are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm making them. I'm, I'm making them good. Checking them twice. Yeah. No, no. I just make, I just record them, chuck them in a editor. Oh, so you are pooping them out then? Yeah, I'm pooping them out. Pooping them out like hardcore. Them out, yeah. Like hot lasagna. <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm almost I'm almost ready to get back on it. I just wanted some actual buffer in mm. front of the thing. Speaking about buffer, let's go to the man whose hair cannot be unestimated right now. I mean Un underestimated. No. You've got a, like you got like like I didn't know this before, but you have a widow's peak. Yeah. And I do actually have a forehead. I know it's been a while since it's been seen. <laughs> It um, it looks very slightly like in uh, in like the Naked Gun films and stuff like that when someone gets electrocuted and then their hair goes like. Pfft. Well, what it actually happened is I had a job interview today and. Did so you slick did, it I back? It. That's what I did. I slicked it back. Oh like that. my god! Yeah, and, it, I didn't um, even know you could do that with your hair, man. Yeah, it just takes a lot of. A lot more than it is. So this is it trying to retain its natural shape. You see how strong the gel is. It's already starting to retain its natural form. It's already fighting back against it, against the whole product. But yeah, um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. Have hair. you ever tried it's dreadlocks nice for your hair? Mm, no, I, I don't think I want to. I think it'd look pretty good. Uh, that's just me saying. But as as a uh, as a white man to a Mexican man. You should get dreadlocks. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm off hold out on that. Um, I'll, I'll put that in consideration. All right. Uh, along with uh, the man bun, I've been told. Oh, to like, dude, don't do that. I'm I'm doing the man bun. Yeah. And every time I have whiskers and whiskey with Eric Volgaris, it's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> there can only be one. I'll fight you, Eric. <laughs> uh, the right of the man bun. So what have you been doing, man? What have you been playing? Anything good? Uh... I was just, I've been playing a lot of GTA with uh, my friends online because of the new update. Uh, we're like, hey, we're going to do this new, new cool stuff. But none of us had the money to do the cool stuff. So we've been doing a lot of the stupid stuff. Uh, but it's been a lot of fun. The thing I remember about that game is like, yo, you could do the missions. But fuck you. Or you could uh, do golfing. But only if you have three friends. And if you have yeah, four, get fucked. <laughs> yeah, um, I feel like they're gonna. I haven't put I didn't play it when it's like them, but lately it seems like there's a lot of stuff you can do with your friends on there. Okay. Um, yeah. What we were doing mostly was we were taking turns on one of the new motorcycles. It is a rocket motorcycle. Um, so you ride it, you ride it, and when you get fast enough, wings pop out, and then you, there's a jet engine on the back that you fire and you just fly. You just fly through the air, and then you crash horribly. Because it doesn't sustain itself. See, that seems like one of those games where you need to have, like, you need to make your own fun. I like my games yeah. that tell me what to do. Hmm. Uh, like Graham. Graham tells me what to do. So, uh, What else have you been doing, man? That's it. Nothing exciting. Die party. You know, Sweet. Making Can Man. Oh, I had to work on my Can Man art. So I'll try to do that back tomorrow. Nice. Can't wait to see it. Speaking about Can Man art. How about this can, man? Because he can, man. Yeah, that's right. Brian, what up, sir? Me. How you doing? Is that Hello? a Bud Light? Are you drinking a fucking yes. Bud Light? Yes. Are you at least yeah. chasing it with a shot of whiskey or something like that? I'm 
chasing it with piss because that's what it is. <sighs> My favorite I, thing I, to I do have, in America when it was hot was to like, you get a Bud Light and then you get a shot of whiskey and you, and you yeah. slam the shot of whiskey and then you just drink the Bud Light, man. It was sad. Sadly, I did not have enough time to go to the good beer store on my own from work because I, so I went to the fucking, supermarket. <laughs> I literally went to the gas station on my way home. <laughs> oh, gas station beer. Gas let me tell you, let me, beer. let me tell you a story about gas station. beer. Yeah, like I went over to Singapore and I stayed there for a couple of months, you know, um, and God damn, did I fucking live off gas station? Beer? <laughs> yeah, like it is cheap. It's fucking disgustingly cheap over there, but I can't drink beer anymore. I think I've ruined myself. Not only am I Australian, but I drank like fucking stupid beer in America, like the IPAs and shit like that. I just lost the taste for it because American beer, especially like the craft beer in San Francisco is just fucking awful. Good God. Fat yak aside, everything else was just like, you know? Yeah. There's some good shit. There's a brewery about two miles from my house. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah, I have to take your word for it. I can't stand yeah. it. Yeah, when it come on when it over to like, time. when it comes to like personal craft beer and stuff like that, and they have the festivals, you got to go through a lot of crap. Before oh you find yeah. Like, oh, oh, this one's good. What's yeah. this one? Write this one down. Yeah. Don't let this one die. <laughs> okay, good story. Uh, in Poland, they region they just had in Jeszów where I live. They have like a a craft beer festival, and I and I went to it with the lady. And she was like, oh, yeah, uh, he, this one, uh, it has uh, um, the, the tea. Uh, what is it called? The, uh, some tea flavor. It was, a, it was a tea, beer, right? It was beer made out of tea. That sounds awful. And uh, uh, Earl Grey, Earl Grey, that's what it was. Earl Grey beer. <clears throat> and she was like, oh, it's really good. I had it the other night. So tasty. So I'm like, all right, I'll fucking try it. What should have gave it away was that um, in, no one else was drinking. No, no, no. It. <laughs> people were people were drinking it. Like Pol- like the Polish people fucking love this shit. But um, the tent, the tent name in English, because Poland uses the same like letters and stuff like that, right? Uh, they just spell it. They just use like for example, a W is a V, and you know all that sort of shit, right? Um, anyway, <laughs> in English, it said. I shit you not, Revolta. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this can't go bad. <laughs> Fucking it's a great name. Got it. Got like you know the the solo cup. You know, drinking it. And I was like, yeah, that tastes like shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's revolting. But yeah. He's like, I can't, I can't even be mad at you guys because you no, know, you you were being straight up honest. You put it on your big ass sign. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> can't get him for false advertising. No, you like, can't. Well played. Yeah. Well played. You really can't. It's like, caution, this is very hot. Like, hmm. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Hot. <laughs> My favorite one of those is just like, yeah, this is a dead pigeon. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, <laughs> uh, Graham, let's let's have a chat with you, man. What have you been up to these past couple of weeks? Um, uh, I was in Florida. It was very hot there. Holy fuck! America's you guys, Wang. you guys are getting like absolutely reamed over in America. Like right now, in in like Poland, it's like thirty fucking degrees, and I'm like, Ugh. you you're telling me it's like forty fucking two degrees Celsius over there? It's just like yeah, during our peak. Yeah. What was it over in Florida then? Uh, the equivalent of forty. Fucking hell! That's like yeah. that's like old people but, getting but killed with it. But also like 100% humidity. Oh. Yeah, Florida, Florida's oh, a little worse God. than California because Florida, yeah, it's very humid. The worst I've ever seen it, I though, Cairns in Australia, it was raining. It was so hot and humid that it was steaming off the ground at the same time. It's... Yeah, t- today when I left work, the sun was out. There was barely any clouds in the sky and it was fucking raining. It was so humid out. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going? It was literally 101 degrees. And it was fucking raining with the sun out. That's Fahrenheit, not Celsius. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. <laughs> so like, what, about 40 degrees Celsius? Uh, oh, like 37, 38. Something like that. Fuck that shit. What else? What, what did you do in Florida, Graham? The family or escape? Yeah, what to do? Well, yeah. What else have you been doing? Did you, have you done any more videos for your channel? No. 
and yeah. I have no time. You know, I saw a guy the other day. Um, he made like, because you know how this big fidget spinner craze is going on right now. Yeah. He made a fucking like super ball bearing like fidget spinner, and then he like he blew it with an air pressure gun. And because he built it with like a million ball bearings in it, it's just like it just it like spun at ridiculous like RPA RPM that he couldn't even fucking record it on his like RPM machine. It's just like yeah, shit, crazy. And whenever I think of you doing your fucking videos, Graham, it's like I hope Graham does that sort of shit. Just like metalworking shit, you know. Like yeah. I want to see you make a fucking like anus destroying fidget spinner. Can you do that? I imagine just like pounding an anvil with a hammer sometimes, you know? Oh, I fucking love those shows. Like the um the sword forging shows. God. Like I wish my my job was well, we had some blacksmithing work, but we don't do any blacksmithing. All the metal yeah. we get is already made. Monday is the first day I can go back in the classroom. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna make next? What's your next target? Uh making a bag of holding. So oh. still working on that one then. Oof. Oh, five degrees Celsius? Give me that shit, Farrell. I'll swap it with you. Holy <laughs> fuck. You take my 30. Um, so, fuck yeah. I mean, where did we last leave off? Like, I can't even fucking remember. It's been so long since we played. Well, <clears throat> we're going to pick up our story about three days later from where we left off. Where did the we very last thing that happened yeah. was uh, there was that whole situation with the high city of Barth where everybody was turning into mashed potato blobmen. Oh yes. yeah, that's fucking right. Yeah, and then we did Little like half. Of we did. We, yeah, we did like half of it or something. Yeah, well, it was very gross. Yeah. Uh, and when you guys, you guys had realized that the sort of the patient zero of this sort of bizarre. Uh, of disease is not the right word, but this sort of bizarre spreading of this affliction. Uh, patient Zero was Commander Major, the come the general yeah, of the yeah. standing army, uh, which is trouble. Uh, and as a sort of result of all of that badness, uh, the sheriff, Mr. Khan, and the Iron Wolf together sort of like have christened you this sort of like special task force with. There's a lot of problems like this going on all over the place all of a sudden, apparently. Yep. So your jobs are to go around the countryside and be superheroes and solve the problems. Okay? Got it. If, if Gormong hadn't killed the coolest gnome ever invented, we wouldn't be having this problem. Yeah, that too. Uh, Gax has an uncanny ability to detect other planar and extra planar stuff, uh, including uh, uh, up to and not limited to the... the the people who have these shards embedded in their persons now. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Gags has one of these as well, but because he's an adventurer and he's made of stronger stuff, he's able to withstand the effects that, you know, would would eventually turn him into a, a gibbering blob man. But yeah, but not. Did you guys get uh, to nine yet? No. We don't, I don't think we got XP for the last session either. No. Uh, huh. Everyone gets fifty thousand. Then I can get to level ten. <laughs> <laughs> I think I oh. just hit nine, and I gotta get like literally like forty nine thousand experience points. How much? How much XP do you guys need to get uh, to level nine? Forty nine thousand. <laughs> what's what's uh what's the level nine point? Uh, oh, fuck, dude. 48, I think it's forty eight thousand or something. Like that. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh fuck! I'm level nine. Congratulations! Congrats, Yay. man. I have forty-eight thousand seven hundred. I thought it was forty-nine thousand for some reason. Oh. Well, shit on a brick. Poop uh, in I my face. I also pass. Uh, uh, yeah, I need like, I, I need like twelve thousand. Oh, there, there you go, twelve thousand. Boom. Shouldn't have lost pod me, mate. I'm <laughs> sorry. I know I really should have just left Gags to die to the master himself. <laughs> he, he, Pod, Podme was a rock, as in he sat around and did nothing. How much did it resurrect your sorry asses? <laughs> I didn't need that. How much is Grant? Uh, Grant Grant's level nine, so probably about the same as uh, 
Cold Mountain Woods. I get 50, Song 000. of Rest. 50,000. Oh, is that the one where we get, like, extra healing and short rest? I think so. It's a D8. Ooh, also, good. this, this for some reason, when Graham was doing the description of, uh, you know, what happened last time and everything, um, in my head now, all I can think is we're running around the country, well, running around the countryside, uh, trying to pick shards of crystal out of people. Uh, we're basically playing Inuyasha. Yeah, basically. <laughs> that, that just like stuck in my head. I was like, oh damn. Um, but yeah, the let's let's all take two thousand XP and we'll call it even because. Wait, know. are you sure you need? From, uh, from okay, I so need, level nine is forty-eight thousand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at thirty-nine. So level like ten is sixty-four thousand, not a hundred and. Right. Level, so I'm ten, sorry, you, level 10 is 6,000. You just 6, said take 6,000? Uh, is that what you said? 2,000. Oh, 2,000. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, so it, it's, 50... it's 64,000, not 10... 106,000. Are you just saying random numbers? What the fuck is no, going on right she, now? Sheepy said that he needed like 50,000 XP, but oh, you no. only need like... No, I, I said I needed what what Henley needed. No, yeah. yeah. Uh, for some reason on my experience points needed, I have I have 53,212. And I need to get to 106,400. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you mistyped something. You maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need 64,000. I just looked it up. I was like, that can't be right. You can't have to double it. It's been three days since okay. that blob incident. Um, and you guys have noticed that despite having just slept, you guys have not encountered the next sort of the closest town yet. Uh, despite having just slept, uh, Gags is showing all the signs of being exhausted. Look, we're tired. Like the mechanical? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I fucking... Guys, remember, I reached in and, like, snorted the fucking crystals or something like that, right? Because yeah, I have six spell slots, right? Out his, yeah. Uh, thing out of his chest. I have magic now. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Did you not share any with Drimble? Nope, no. fuck, fuck Drimble. Uh, you can't really. You can't uh, share his cocaine. Yeah, share the magical cocaine. No. She snorted out of my uh, nose. It's weird. Yeah, if I just like suck, if I snort out of your nose, do I get any residue magic? Uh, uh, up the heart. <laughs> what if I kill him and take his heart? No, give it a shot. Only one way to find out. <laughs> no, bring on, no. baby. No. All right. So. Uh, but get you are by all, by all mechanical uh, sense exhausted. You have one level of exhaustion. Okay. Okay. So okay. that's that's like saving throws. No, that's no. Then yeah. it's on basically everything. Yeah, it's saving throws. Uh, level two exhaustion is movement speed halved. Right. So, yeah. guys, you know that you're going to need to find one of these shards quick. Otherwise, this the corruption of the shard is going to continue to eat away to you. Uh, and that is what the exhaustion is. So it's Gorman's yeah. fault. It is. Well, it's all Gorman's fault. There's a certain level of blame that falls on Gorman. I sort of wake up. I'm just like, oh, guys, I feel fucking amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so yeah. where, where, where do I feel the nearest shard coming from? Uh, it's it's not, not close <laughs> for you to feel. Um, not close enough for you to feel. You feel them. It, it, it's about a distance of like a mile, like one mile. Mm-hmm you can feel uh but you, you're just kind of your mission basically the parameters of the mission are to go from town to town to town to town to town inspect see if everything's all right move on okay okay uh you are you are about an hour or two away from the next town which the the closest town from from barth is called uh uh kelly's field which is just this lot this open like plain area with a lot of uh livestock and and that sort of graze farming um but that's kind of your destination, about a couple of hours, continuing to head east. Okay. Yeah, let's... I mean, unless anybody objects, let's head that way. 
All right. I mean, you're our compass, literally and figuratively. I mean, if you die, we'll turn you into a compass. Just don't mount me on a stick. No, I mean, no, you'll be... We'll, <laughs> You're small enough Everybody to fit in the game. palm of my hand right now, so you no <laughs> promises, no promises, honestly. Just get like a little water bowl, stick stick him in there, and he's kind of like yes, yeah, the water bowl, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> he turns into like a a pod, a pog. Who? What? What? What are they think? There's like a tarzo. A pog. A pog, yeah. <laughs> what like? Pog. Uh, for all those who aren't oh, under 18, a pug <laughs> used to be a small little... It was a pug, yeah. right? I'm not fucking crazy? Okay. I don't know. And you hit him with the, the a metal one like... called a slammer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we'll turn you into a pug when you die oh. so we can put you in a bowl of water. I've always I've always wanted to be immortalized <laughs> as a small piece of cardboard in the shape of a circle. Hey, man. One had Michael Jordan on it, okay? <laughs> like... Calm down. I had a bunch that had like uh, you know skateboards and stuff on them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, anyway, pogs, huh? Yeah, we, so we next lost time. all the young, all the younger audience. <laughs> yeah. I was really, in, I was really into skateboards when I was younger. <laughs> uh, you guys are traveling. Gags is having a hard time keeping up. Uh, I'll put him on my shoulders. It's fine. Okay. Cool. Do I get like some sort of like space, like like some sort of weird AIDS from him? Like what's going on there? I heard uh, you no. rolling, so like. Yeah, no, <laughs> from... That's the random encounter die. Oh okay, um, I was like, yeah, I'll put him on my shoulders. Uh, roll, roll, roll. <laughs> ah, you're fine. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> Should I be? Uh, it's, fast. it's uh, fairly windy. Uh, winter continues. Um, you guys get to basically you guys went through the forest you guys went through the sort of a hilly area and then at the next rise oh there's the there's the Kelly's field uh, sort of farmstead area farmstead community calling it a town is a bit of a it's a bit of a stretch uh, it's a loose collection of farmlands with a roadside inn and, and a smithy maybe on a good day um, <laughs> and just sort of like farmers and handymen and stuff like that That's so it's almost like, like a, where people come to Almost like a watering hole for like the surrounding farms or something like that, yeah? Sort of, uh, as, as it is with most, the, the point of the tavern and the inn is that you don't cook in the home, you just kind of like, the, the, the tavern sort of cooks for everybody, and so everybody just kind of eats there, and it's just okay. kind of, it's, that's why it's so cheap, that's why it's like a copper piece, because those people have to eat, and you don't cook in the home. Um, but in any case, gags. Yes. You, you right you see you see Kelly's field there it is you're like ah there we are and then immediately begin to feel something something but it's tingling not, but it's not in that direction straight up like in the sky vertically uh, I look up okay big perception check right. can gags like even look up is that even possible <laughs> yeah. like gags can't look up Hey, my dog looked straight up the other day. <laughs> Fucking myth busted, all right? <laughs> that was a 19. So your uh, you're sort of uh, enhanced abilities of perception because of this uh, sense that you have about other planar and extra planar bizarreness. Um, you, you look straight up, not a cloud in the sky, just, just blue. Or I guess more, maybe sort of, uh, sort of a bizarre gray color. But in any case, you look straight up, uh, and you see vertically about one mile in the in the air, which is probably too high to see. But in any case, just this very small pinprick of light, uh, just like it's it's very small. It's about the size of a pea if you were to look at it from here. Uh -huh. All right, do you, do you want me to throw you up there? Uh, I literally have the max. I literally have the maximum amount of strength you can get in this game, so, like... <laughs> what, what is he talking about? Uh, I'm a very strong Gormon, but... Is it moving? Maybe stronger. Is it moving, Graham? Or is it stationary? Yeah. Seems to be moving... Continuing to move east over the town. Hmm. Perhaps we can find some sort of apparatus to shoot at it. I... That's really far. It's, yeah, it seems it's really small, and it's windy. It's, 
it seems silly to engage in hostilities with something we, when we don't. Well, I don't know. Those. How about we fly up there then? Actually, I probably can. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, you know, I, I actually can probably fly. <laughs> okay, Graham. Okay, go for it. I'll see the object now. It breaks the. It, you guys all hear this like loud boom sound? It's it's doing sonic booms over the fucking. As two as two objects, one lo one very large like a meteor, and one very small from your perspective, they break something in the sky. Something's flying along to the east, and then it splits off into two directions. The big object heading far to the north of the town, and the other small object moving far to the south along the hills, uh, the wooded hills. Uh, but gags, whatever you're sensing, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, and when it breaks apart, you sense two now. Um. Big one I mean, or so small So there's a big one, one and a small one. I I vote for the small one. Well, the small one's on our left, so I vote for the small one. Perfect. It's serendipitous then. But these sure. two idiots will I want mean, to go to the other one. No, I, was just, I just thought know. maybe the bigger one was a bigger threat. We could save more lives that way. I kind of assumed that the big one but would the be. The smaller like... one has probably got all the power. If if we know anything about how supernatural shit works. The small I one probably know. won't kill me in one hit. I mean, I, I mean do you remember the gnomes? One, he doesn't have that power. Do, do, do you remember your gnome friends who beat the crap out of you? Uh, uh, thanks for bringing up a painful memory from my past, Grant. That's what I'm I here can for. always, I can always count on you. You know yeah, it, buddy. Classy. Real classy. I've seen very folk kind of, kind of, kind of in the fields, looking around, looking up. Hey, Wait, just... Graham, Durable. out of curiosity. Um, and this might help us, you know, pinpoint which one we want to go to first. In which direction would you say is the biggest populace of human or I guess any sort of lives, like human lives or whatever you want to call them? Like uh, sent in to towns honest, or whatever. Yeah, to be honest, the big one probably landed on the beach or even in the ocean. Hmm. And the small one landed among the hills and the woods. Wait, no, I always say, fuck fish. Let's go for the small one in the woods. I've never heard you say that before. I always say it. You just don't Wait. listen. Wait, I'm, have I'm you sorry. been fucking my fish when I before I cook them? Fuck fish. That's hey, gross. Oh, Durimble. I, oh, I'm going to be sick. Durimble. We ate oh, fish last I, night. I, I bet I bet before uh, we leave this town, it gets burned down. Uh, what? <laughs> no, please don't burn down this town. Don't I'm burn not, down I'm another not, town. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna burn down the town. I'm just saying. I You're one for down. one right now. I don't know. <laughs> like, you have a hundred percent track record of burning down towns. I didn't you, burn down the entire leader. town. It was like a quarter. It was like a quarter of the town. It's a very You're large like town. Percentage of town. I have a list right here. Your name is at the top of most percentage of town burnt out of all four of us. Well, that doesn't you mean see, every, see, every every. I went to that other town. Zero percent. Vampire demon. Gags. Demon. If actually, actually, like, I'm at, like, negative percentage because I put out True. his I fire. Need, I need to like, update the list. Uh, yeah. I need to put him down further on the list. But you, uh, yeah, 25% of town burns. That's pretty high. That's more can, than all three of us combined. You actually have lost. a mortality rate a attached to can that. I, That's how big that yeah. fire was. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> evidence, <laughs> evidence is gone now. My slate is clean. You're going to have to yeah. kill a lot more than just that piece of paper to re remove the evidence. <laughs> no, I am willing to. That's good. That's a different list. I have murder list too. Oh, you can't have I, have, murder list. I haven't murdered anyone. Pretty well, sure you have actually. Blood. I didn't. There was a dragon thing. That that doesn't count. No, when murder. does murder count? Like what? Like are we? I mean, are we counting all the people that if I, I killed? Get arrested like... for it. That's when murder counts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but which one, which murders do they count? The ones I get arrested for. I've never been arrested for murder. Not yet, that you guys so. know of. That's true. So are you saying that you've you've killed so many countless people that they could just be like, well, you murdered all these people, and you'd be like, I probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually I mean, sure, and half of them actually. Guilty <laughs> until proven innocent. Am I right? <laughs> I love our little talks. Uh, uh, yeah, we should we should go inspiring get that really. So we're going to the forest uh, or the ocean because in, inane conversation too. <clears throat> Two, two farmhands sort of put down their pitchforks and whatnot and begin to just kind of like wander over like in the direction of the small object. Oh, wait! Oh, oh they're gonna die. 
Not if we drop him. Well, hey, hold up, hold up. Why don't we see what the shot actually does to them so we can learn how to... What it does. I don't want to kill any more mashed potato men. While, while something's eating them, we can kill it. Do you have any sense of morality? I'm yes. just curious. I have, a, I have a very acute sense of morality. He goes by his own know. morale scale, so... Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Let me rephrase that. He goes by his own moron scale. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's different. Right, well, true. we should hurry up so we can actually see them before they just die. Maybe we can even save them. I don't know. Yeah, just give it a shot. Just, you know, for all Sorry, what's that, Gomong? We are supposed to be heroes, you know, saving the townsfolk and all that. I mean, I try, but I'm literally parted with someone who burns most of the town down, so... Part, part. Part, part. Yeah. Most is still part, yes, I would agree with that statement. 90% is still a percent, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whatever the small object was, whatever the small thing was that you detect has a shard with it is now moving towards you guys. Or not towards you guys, but more like <laughs> using your mastery of spatial geometry that <laughs> Yes. Uh, He's it, playing hot potato with it. It's moving from its crash site to the other crash site. Oh, I think it's trying to find its buddy. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to intercept. I mean, the ones, one of them's already big. I don't think we should let it get any bigger. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, she did say uh, that. Yeah. That no, she, said, she said, why isn't it getting any bigger? Oh. oh. Right, right. Was that before uh, or after she got stabbed? I think it was before the stabbing. <laughs> okay. And why it led to the stabbing. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try and understand them, Graham. Let's do that. Yeah. Right. So you guys head down the head down the hill in the direction of the small object. The the two farm hands are kind of like at a half jog, uh, at some sort of worried pace. Um, so are you gonna try to catch up to them or just let it see what happens? See what happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, gags. If you want, you don't have to I, go I, with the. I, with I, the I mean, you know, if you want if you. I was gonna at least yell at him and be like, "Hey, dummies! <laughs> hey, dummies! Don't, don't." Don't go after things that you don't understand. All right, so you guys let them, you guys follow at a uh, specifically uninterested pace. Yes. No, 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 we, we, we'll, we'll follow them, like, we're keeping... in the same direction for no reason. Yeah. We, we look like we're not following them, you know, so every time, they, every time they turn around, we stop and, like, look... <laughs> Yeah, oh, exactly. open up a newspaper and start reading it. <laughs> Just like holes in it, looking through. <laughs> this is such a lovely tree. I'm so glad I walked it right out here for this tree. They sort of break the break the last uh, piece of farmland and and start walking uphill uh, into the uh, sort of wooded hills of where the crash site was, and uh, you're you're following along. Uh, you let them get uh, further ahead. Um, they, they're not moving particularly fast. They don't have any weapons or anything. They're just mm -hmm. sort of going to investigate as you do. Um, I need you guys, or whoever wants to, uh, try and track them and make survival. I do believe we have a designated survival bitch for that. Is that oh, gags? Uh, I think that might be uh, you, actually. Ready? Yeah. Is that you? Oh, that me. I got survival four. Wait, do I have the highest wisdom in the party? I think you. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you have the highest. Yeah, like I have. I think I'm pretty sure I have the highest character traits, regardless, right? Like. No. You have the most everything. Twenty, twelve, eighteen, fourteen, eighteen, nine. Good fucking god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've I've got more decks than you. I don't give a fuck. I got more everything. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll make the survival check, Graham. All right. What did you say this was? Just normal survival, straight survival? Yeah. Yep, okay. 16. Right. Yeah, you can easily enough follow these these two guys. They're not making any attempt to hide their tracks. They're not making any attempts to... They don't even know anybody's following them. They're, they're largely unaware civilians. Um... What are you going to do with your million dollars? It's like, oh, I don't know. I'm going to buy myself a cow. And it's like... Just one? It's like, well, yeah. How much do cows cost? <laughs> I'm going to have a really big cow. A million dollar cow. A million dollar cow. <laughs> How much is this? Give me a second. Uh, 
maintain between you and them because if you wanted to, you could catch up to them. You know what? Uh, Actually, yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk, walk up right to, them. to them. I'm just gonna walk up to them and be like, "Hey, yeah. ah. how's it going? What? Yeah, yeah. I don't, you, you, don't have any money. That's okay. We? We're we're just going to go to this thing. Yeah, yeah. you going to the, you guys are going to the thing, right? The thing. You know, fell from the sky. You yeah, saw that blue thing, right? Thing that fell out of the sky. Yeah. 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 That's where we're going. Well, you might want to be a little careful. Great. Um, actually, how about you turn back? No, we're we're, we're we've got kids out here. Gotta save them. Yeah, and you mean well, kids as in children or in small girls? Do Do you let your kids run free in the woods? Like you don't? No. I actually I haven't. Kids, I haven't so. had to found the time to procreate. Actually, so that's what kids do. Procreate. I, I'm still not sure if he's talking about goats or, or children. Oh, the things Gormung doesn't understand about humans. My brain hurts. Oh, I mean, don't human children procreate like orc children do? No. No, I don't think so. Probably very different from what orc children do. I think humans yeah. come out of like an egg sack. They are quickly bored by your conversation and move away from you. <laughs> oh, they're going I mean, if they want to. Wait a, wait, a, wait a moment. I mean, guys, listen. We're, you know, tasked with finding these things. Uh, they're, they're supernatural. They make people into candle wax. What? Cursed. Yeah. Dude. It's pretty terrible. So uh, how, how about this? Instead of me trying to convince you that this is a thing, I'm a big scary orc with a big sword. Axe, I will hit axe. you with it. Oh, it's an axe. Sorry, my bad. I will hit you with it if you don't leave. I mean, is that a good enough reason for you to go back to where you came from? What was that? Make an intimidation. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, negative one, I think. Intimidation. Oh, I actually have three in it. Okay, cool. Oh. Five points. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like, kind of like fast walk, a uh, little ways ahead of you, and keep going the way they were going. Or I could Fuck chase them. you down and murder you. I mean, that works too. Oh, Please. can we? Uh, no. Actually, Graham, do we have rope? Sure. Yes. Yeah, it's just like, uh, just one second, guys. I'm gonna like. Try and grapple one to tie him to a tree. Okay, so you're gonna raft to him, try to grapple him, okay? Or oh, lasso oh. motherfuckers, like, oh, no, 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 come here. Tie him up. Oh, he, yeah. He rolled, he rolled a five? Okay. I win by default. <laughs> no. What do you say? Yeah. Can I hamstring the other one? <laughs> just, <laughs> doink, and just like, <laughs> just, 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 just I'd, I'd like, Graham, can I just disable the other one? Like, <laughs> can I just I cut mean, his Achilles heel? Can I do that? No, like, no one else has tried to stop him yet, so I figure I'll shoot him. Um, okay. I will. Were we just talking about murder earlier? <laughs> yeah, this is going on the list. Seventeen. Oh, oh yeah. Do, do I need to roll down? I like the idea that, you know, we're harmlessly tying this guy to a tree with a very loose knot, and Grant's like, oh, okay, we're killing these guys? <laughs> <laughs> I very clearly said hamstring, not kill. Yeah, the, the arrow goes through the guy's uh, leg. Ah! Falls over. Uh, Jesus what, what, what are you, wait, what are you wait, doing, wait, Grant? Wait, 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 wait. Halt! What? In the name of the law. You're you already shot idiot. him. You can't what? give out the warning. Well, it has to be in order. I'm. Yes. I turned to his friend. and was like, "I'm so sorry, my <laughs> my friend. Uh, he's a human. You understand." If you didn't want him to get shot, you should have grabbed both of them, Gorman. You're a fucking idiot. He didn't. He wasn't Holy running. Gags. He realized that the thing has gotten closer and closer and it's, closer. I mean, guys, guys, mm -hmm. whatever it is, it's coming this way. Yeah, I, I wish both. it was this guy's sense of morality, because then we'd be fine. You I, I fucking idiot. You don't just I shoot didn't... people. 
I, I mean, all, I'm all for using these guys as human shields. You're no. you're just as irresponsible as this one. What what is that thing sapping away your soul? Uh, it might be. Oh, it that's... might be sapping away all our souls if we don't do something, or hide, or figure something out. If it has come this way, I suggest we climb the trees and wait in ambush. All right, I'm gonna pick up the okay. guy that Grant shot. Yeah. And I'm going to try and scale the tree. Dangle him! Dangle him, him like, like fishing! Like a Go cheetah. fishing for! <laughs> Henley, you love fishing, dude. Come on, man. It's fish. true, right? I do fish. love fishing. <laughs> <laughs> it's been confirmed. I fucking love it. But that's besides the point. I'm not going to fish a human being to catch a monster, okay? Please! But if you could... <sighs> and all your, uh, a, few, a few tense minutes go by. Um, you're in the tree. Uh, did you did you did you loose the other guy, or at least slide him up the tree? Or I would I would hope that someone else, like can I like just I bring the rope with me and just pull him up like afterwards? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you're camping to keep food away from bears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like hanging by the tree, just been like, well, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, like... I can't go fishing without some line. <laughs> Down there. After a few tense moments, you guys begin to hear like um, distant footsteps of uh, some four-legged creature, um, and what sounds like uh, almost like a storm, like a lightning storm, like zaps and snaps and crackles and stuff like that. Like the cereal. Does it smell like? There uh, weren't any pops. Does it smell there like? O is, there, is there like an ozone smell to it? You know. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like an ozone smell? Yeah, you try to smell, no, nothing, nothing this close. Hmm. Is very, it a, very is very it horrible. above us, Graham? No, no. Okay. Coming through okay. the tree. And even if you guys, if you guys look in the distance, it's sort of like in, in a monster movie where some of the trees are getting like pushed aside. Oh, Jesus. I like Man, that. That would be a good time for one of your traps. I, I think we should loose one of the prisoners. I think you should, prisoner. uh, that's how about I got a, I got a great idea. Why don't I dangle you down there, and tie you up, right? And then you can just be the bait. Well, who's gonna kill the thing then? Me. <laughs> no, I always get the killing blow. You you don't know how to kill things. You just know how to hurt them. You, it's it's already this up, gentlemen. It really isn't the time to argue. Just loose one of the prisoners. The one bleeding, like it probably smelled blood. You guys see, you guys see this bizarre plume like of pulling closer. <laughs> blackish, bluish smoke in the distance. Oh god, it's a smoke monster from the first season of Lost. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, I, uh, I have, I will prepare my my. Yeah, I'm gonna prepare to yes. jump down on this son of a bitch when he shows up. Do you up. have any longbows left? <laughs> I always restock when we go back to town. Oh, Look, he has fine elvish hair that he just <laughs> and yeah, restrings that bitch. Right. <laughs> uh, well, my hair is so long, it's because it's just my bowstring. It's true. Does it does it sound big? Yeah, very. Um, now, does it sound big to us? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> uh, that was, it's just that like was a good. dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's enormous! It's, like, it's a fucking, it's a fucking like, golden retriever with a fucking crystal up its ass. Do you, um, are you guys trying to hide from it? So if you're trying to be an ambush, let's just all make stealth checks. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay, okay. Oh, dude! Oh, dude! I'm so invisible. Uh, Woo! I don't want to mean to mean to rain on Gormung's parade, but you're wearing Bumping heavy thing. armor. Fuck you! <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm I'm not wearing plate armor actually. Your magic chainmail armor? It's not chainmail. Oh. It's splint. Your dog is this... Anyways, moving on. Oh, so uh, fucking the creature. The creature's about. 200 feet away, and it's at this point you begin to hear very loud, snapping, crackling sounds. Um, 
you begin to smell like gag as mentioned before sort of an ozone but also sort of a a, a steam uh sort of like a very humid after the rain type smell you begin to uh and also mixed with sort of this like a like a smoke from a very hard wood like a very like a dark smoke um you, you you hear these loud uh, crunching footsteps. You you hear the snapping of tree branches and whatnot. And when the creature emerges, um, when it's seen by everybody in the in the group, uh, Dorimbor and Gags both sort of slip a little bit because of its this monstrous being that enters the sort of uh, pathway, sort of the clearing, sort of the downhill slope towards the city. Uh, what comes out of the trees first is just a head. It's this uh, about six foot tall, looks draconic head uh, that's made entirely of iron plates. And it's just four, it looks like a pyramid. It's got uh, two on the side and two on the top and bottom. And they, they do have this, it has this sort of like two uh, blue glowing eyeballs. It's like a That's Power right. Ranger monster. Sort of, yeah. And it's got this very draconic looking mouth with teeth. Um, but you also see that up on the bottom of its neck, on the bottom of its head, embedded in its sort of form is one of these blue power shards. Is it, uh, okay, and, so is it, does it look like a statue that was brought back to life by the crystal? Well, let me, let me continue. Uh, the next thing that follows is this long serpentine neck that comes out along with it. The serpentine neck is segmented uh, in sort of a ribbed, uh, some sort of uh, like tortoise shell almost, or ivory or bone of some sort. And then behind it after that, this huge carapace, almost like an insect's uh, shell, but made entirely of, once again, iron plates. Um and then after that, this enormous tail with a with a large spike on the end. The entire thing is sort of crackling with this energy that's coming from the shard, the, the negative energy shard. Uh, bits of what looked to be lightning just kind of like shoot out and spark at various points where the where the thing's hull has been punctured by this shard. Uh, and it's also leaking steam and smoke as it goes through. And it just, it, it, it's murmuring some sort of language that you don't quite understand unless you speak abyssal. I don't know if anybody does. That's pistol? right, you fucking no. shit lord. I forgot you speak epistle. Yeah. You're just like, uh, oh, I didn't I pick my I language, know. Graham. What good language is going to pick? Ah, just anything. Have you seen my religion rolls, mate? Yeah. I mean, come on now. Uh, in fact, well, I guess I, it's okay. So, Grant, uh, it, it's murmuring something in abyssal, uh, or at least at some derivative of abyssal that you can sort of piece together. Mm. It's saying that it has to reclaim the Ark of the Covenant, so that so that swapping can commence. <laughs> slopping, swapping, oh, slopping. Fuck is slopping. He's a swinger. I knew it. Wife swap on Saturdays at five p.m. PST. <laughs> Emerges from the trees and makes itself visible to the to the to the scene to the party. Uh, Gags and the room board, you guys kind of slip. Leaves fall from the trees where you are, and the creature immediately turns to look at uh, the room board. Oh, uh, and its head is off the ground. It's got this sort of serpentine, very very uh, sickening sort of crimping, crunching sound as its neck moves up and down, sort of like a, an, a bending an accordion up and down. Oh. Uh, and it looks at you, its eyes look up at you, and it says something. And Grant, uh, you hear that it says, anyone who stands in the way must be basically destroyed. Uh, sort of the abyssal word for destroyed. Hey, nerd, what is what is the skeleton turtle saying? Gormong, you may want to get in front of Durimbo. He... At which point... Uh, Durimbor, uh, I assume for the sake of simplicity, you guys are all in separate trees. That makes it easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Durimbor, you're there. Looks at you. It opens its mouth and it unleashes a uh, blast of exhaust fume. Mm. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Um, get get your fucking whiteboard ready. Foot, <laughs> a fifty foot wide swath of trees are blown over. 
Um, Shit, dude. And during that time, you take an enormous amount of poison damage. And this is very scary uh, for everybody else involved because uh, you guys see a swath of trees are blown down. Garimbor rolls and, and tumbles through, crushed by several trees, stabbed and poked by several trees. And also, Garimbor, you also take 55 poison damage. Uh, I'm down. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Oh, great. Then, it turns, then it turns to Gags. I think we what? all need to roll. Did, did he make his constitution save? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, you. good. <laughs> At least, you know. I think we all need to roll initiative. Drimble! <laughs> Have fun. Yeah, <laughs> I, the other one who failed his uh, stealth roll. Uh, no, I failed mine too, because I have to, like, I, I think I have disadvantage on it because of my plate. Oh, scale. Yeah, the only yeah. one who failed a stealth roll. He also uh, there's also something else at play. Uh, so gags fifteen. Yeah. Thirteen. Oh um. <laughs> Sixteen. I'm gonna know how. You have a plus five in yours though. Was out another continent. Oh wait, <laughs> shit! I need to roll my my hit die for hit points, right? Yep, sure. Fuck. Quick, quick, Cags. Yeah. All right, <laughs> All right, I need another fifty-five oh, HP fuck. real quick. Oh fuck, where, where? You guys enjoy. I'm gonna... luckily, luckily for Gags, Gags, you do notice that once uh, once it unleashed all that exhaust, it stopped smoking and stopped sparking, and it seems to have needs to recharge. Oh. It failed its reroll to charge its breath weapon. We got this. Let's go. Can I just say? No. Wait, just real on. quick. I, I have a quick question. My yeah. hit points at higher levels it says one d eight or five plus my constitution modifier. Five five is like the average. So you you yeah. either but oh, we're oh, 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 okay, we're always yeah, rolling like that's yeah, the thing yeah, yeah. we always All right, roll. So one d eight plus my constitution is two. All right, hold, let me roll that real quick. God, don't oh, get a one. Like I did last level. One d eight plus two. Come on, ten. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you got better <laughs> than right. five. So that's I mean, all right. I'll take six. You got one better than the average. I mean, it's not going to do much help if you get hit for 55 damage. Right, but... because that would actually kill me by one. Yeah. <laughs> um, I rolled that saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, he <laughs> rolled would, would pretty you like fast. To so and like... bubble a little bit as well? <laughs> <laughs> technically, you have an issue, so. Oh, yeah, all right. So I'll, I'll roll that. There you go. <laughs> I get to roll first. <laughs> no, no, I'm second. Go and make a death saving throw. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, Crit. Just show this turtle thing what's up. Right. <laughs> just like brush off the sticks in my Grant. chest and like stuff. Grant, what do you want to do? You guys have seen this. This enormous cloud moves on. Uh, you know, move this cloud of poison spray moves off in the direction that Thrimbor once was. Is it, it's Is it still going? The town? No, it looks. It's looking at gags now, and it's looking prepared to try and eat him. Oh, I mean, I mean the the cloud. Yeah, is that still going? It's moving towards the south, towards the other direction. Because you guys were on either side. The road is towards the town, and all that good stuff. Am I in range to take a shot? Of course. Yeah, this thing's huge. You can get it from anywhere. Okay, I will take a shot at it. Fuck it. DC is eight. <laughs> uh, shot. Sixteen. That hits. Yeah, that hits. Oh, sweet. Uh, and I'm gonna take a guess at the DC of ten. So. Uh, that I was stealthed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh twenty six. All right, it's dead. Uh, sweet. Uh, you take you take a shot. Uh, you get right in. Uh, sort of the weak the weakest point is going to be the neck. So that's kind of where you're aiming for. Uh, it kind of like goes through part of the neck and like it's like almost like swallowed. Like you hear it rattling around inside now. The arrow. That's kind of terrifying. Uh, can I use my bonus action to go back into the leaves? <laughs> just, just like close the I, leaves. Yeah, up. I like the idea that you think that's going to help. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just like... <laughs> um, okay, so... Back into the shadows. Nice. Very good. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so i believe we discussed that i can cast all of my cantrips for free now correct yeah as long yeah. as you have spell slots you can cast cantrips for free yeah, yeah well, because he... of his like nether no because of his no i don't even yeah. need magic crack i can just oh cast yeah it. no i remember that yeah all right so it's still looking at me yeah oh yeah okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cast uh dancing lights okay. um but so I, I can create up to four torch slash lights or 
I can combine the four lice into one vaguely humanoid form of medium size. Okay. So I'm going to do that. But it's taller than you. That's fine. Because I'm going to try to lure this thing away from me. I can move it. Uh, I can move the lights up to 60 feet. Um, so I cast dancing lights and make them into this humanoid shape. And the humanoid shape is going to give the thing the finger. And then, like, try to like run, like, draw it away. Wouldn't from it? Wouldn't me. it be better to first go to stealth and then try and <laughs> do it? Because you're still gonna be standing there after this thing is like. It's gonna like no. It's gonna like slap it in the face with fire, <laughs> and and run away. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So one more time. So I create a humanoid looking shape that is made out of flame. It can't okay. damage anything, but I'm going to have it smack it in the face to like get its attention and start okay. to run, get its okay. attention off me. Just because I'm kind of curious how this is going to play out. Um, I want you to roll a... I'm, I'm, I want you to roll a... Uh, what, how does your vicious mockery work? Is that a, what's a wisdom save on its part? Uh, I believe so. Hold on. Okay. Uh, yeah, so wisdom save of 14, if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, wisdom saving throw. That's fine. Uh, so this thing, this this dancing light being slaps it across the face. Yeah. And then it immediately goes right yeah. back to you. No, not back to me. Yeah, it goes it 60 feet away from me. I know. The thing does... The robot dragon looks straight back to you. All right. Uh, uh, so I will use what's my fa uh, what's that movement called that I get the fast movement? Uh, oh, wait, disengage. To, uh, no, mobile. Mobile gives you an extra ten feet for distance. So. Right. So I'm going to. Uh, oh, fuck! I'm in a tree, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe stealth. Yeah. Can I roll stealth? Sure. Bonus okay. action. You can try. Yeah. Oh, wait, not only Rogue can do a bonus. No, no you've already used your action, so... Oh, yeah, that was my action. Stealth is a bonus. Mm. In any case. Great. Score bomb. All right, Graham. Simple question yeah. I have for you, brother. Can... Right. Does it look like... Like, can I jump on its back? And if I can, does its head look like it can turn around? Uh, unclear. All right. <laughs> Can I jump on his back? Yeah. Make an athletics roll. Yeah. I want to bring that axe down too when I'm coming down, you know. All right. Give me a little bit of that. Uh, a little bit of the uh, more oomph, you know. 24. Nice. Back. Ka-chunk. Yeah. Uh, so bring the axe down at the same time. Get any bonuses or anything like that? No, not really. I can't bring <laughs> bring the axe down with the gravity of gravity. Gravity <laughs> <laughs> with the gravity of I the don't... situation, Graham. That's <laughs> all right. I uh... get Dark Souls this fast. Nice, oh, Jesus! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think the turtle might be dead. No, probably not. But let's see. <laughs> Let's see, maybe. Oh Wait. my god. 59 so. damage. <laughs> well, I mean, he did 55. It's only fair. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's only fair. I, mean, I have a lot less health than him, so it's not. That's for fair. my <laughs> elf friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's what you tried to say, but you just go. <laughs> I do say that was for my elf friend, you behemoth. <laughs> uh, second attack. Nice. 21. Okay. Uh, you begin, you begin chopping, taking huge chunks of just like iron slag out of its back. Mm -hmm. Um, with this axe of, this great axe of sharpening is, appears to be just like sawing through this, uh, vroom, this iron. Vroom. 
Um, yeah. it, wait, you said the, the, the crystal is sticking out of its neck, right? Sticking out of the bottom of its head. Can I go yeah. for like the underneath the head with those attacks? Uh, not, not sitting on its back. The head is sort of got that long neck. Oh, that long neck. All right. So how about, um, uh, okay. If I action surge, Graham. Yeah. And I run along the neck. Yeah. Can I take another two attacks at its head? To try uh, and with the intent to dislodge the crystal. Uh, or better like... yet, le reach down and just, you know, fondle it so that it like goes into my like spell slots. Interesting. Um roll acrobatics this time. Acrobatics. Graham, you busted my balls here, man. Yeah, well, I, I understand the army because this is a lot more balanced than strength focused. Mm -hmm. What if I run really fast? <laughs> <laughs> you have to balance really fast? <laughs> then you roll a disadvantage. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, <gasps> the 14? Uh, you guys see Gormung. <laughs> and he's like, he's, he's the, 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 the neck or whatever is sort of like bending as Gormung is stepping on it. It doesn't seem particularly strong. It seems extremely flexible. At this point, the creature seems to be aware of Gorm because it kind of looks away from Gags for a split second. And then it literally moves its neck out of the way of where Gormung's foot is. And so Gormung, you begin to teeter and fall and you wrap one leg around the neck. So you're still on the neck, but you're just kind of like flopping around from the leg. And that, that was my use of action surge, just out of curiosity. Uh, I'll still let you make another attack if you want to. Fuck yeah, I do. Fucking take this neck out, bro. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> all, all of Henley's good rolls up to this point on Omen, finally karma has balanced. Yeah. <laughs> just for the sake of that, uh, you can see Gorma steps too awkwardly, try and strike at the beast again, uh, but he falls on the ground prone, just on flat on his back. I regret it, so much. It, is he? Is he moving? Is he? Dead? Oh yeah, he's, he's like he regrets. He says, okay. "I regret." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, right. man! That's yeah, so no. close. <sighs> uh, the the being the sort of draconic dragon tank. From, from Chrono Trigger. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Chrono. Christ. That's exactly what this thing is. Exactly. Um, the, the, the sort of dragon tank uh, takes this opportunity to take four steps forward onto Gormung's body. <laughs> Gormung, make a dexterity saving throw. Try to roll in between the feet like a brontosaurus. Uh, luckily, I've got a use of indomitable that I can use. Uh, so let's see how we go. Dex, you said? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh yeah. Ones. Uh, yeah. So I'm back, see... baby! <laughs> right. Oh, that hurt. And then the creature begins to step and it's almost going to crush his face and he rolls out of the way. No, and no, no, Graham. Step. I don't just roll out of the way. There's a trap door leading inside the creature <laughs> in his foot that I jump into and climb up. No, you, you're in the <laughs> Um, But he's moving forward at the attempt to try and claw Gags out of the tree and, like, send him flying, like, launch him into the air. Right? Uh, you know, as, as, I'm, as I'm, like, rolling out of the way and grabbing onto the foot or whatever the fuck I'm doing, um, I scream, Gags! Yeah! Just siphon the crystal out of his neck. Just jump on there and grab it. I don't... What the? Okay. Yeah, it says 21 hit you. Nope. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. It hits me 21 times. All right, max damage. 25 oh. slashing damage. 25 da damage? Okay. Yep. Uh, and then it doesn't really know where anybody else is except for Gormung and Gags at this point. So it's going to uh, sort of bring its tail at sort of a ready position. Can't hold that uh, half an action, so it's just gonna, that's gonna be at the end of its turn. The rim board, the best saving throw. Yeah, get it. Oh, All right. you're so Damn. tantalizingly close to that 20. Yeah. Wow. It's like Twice now. Fucking. Grant, what do you do? 
But well, as much as Grant would like to take this opportunity to shoot Gormung in the dick, I will take another shot <laughs> at the. Uh, I, at mate, the... listen, I'm kill, like I'm steal, hanging kill, on. Steal. I'm hanging on to the back <laughs> of this fucking thing's foot right now, climbing it like fucking uh, Shadow of the Colossus style. You were... I thought you fell off and you. I did, but then I rolled a fucking twenty to roll out of the way, so I climbed up the leg all again. Right. All right, yeah, all right. Uh, I will aim for the neck and take a shot at the crystal. Hopefully, kill steel shot. Kill steel. Kill steel. Twenty-five. Hey! What, is, what is that? That's like a what? A Sixteen. 17. And twenty-seven. Doing triple-digit math is hard. Okay. Uh, and I, I will also uh, like. I, I feel like I feel like when I shoot my bow, I like come out of the leaves like this, <laughs> and then and then after like I Homer my bow, Simpson coming out of the yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. hedgerow. After I fly with my bow, I just go. <laughs> you hear the Redboard's anguished cries. He's uh, fine. fine. <laughs> You're right, buddy. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh. Nope, good. Uh, gags. Okay, so he the thing is like pretty much right up on me, right? Oh yeah, it's like it's like bending the tree that you're in backwards. Right. To... So Yo, using thirsty. my using my nimble dwarf feet, or I mean gnome feet. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, where did you get those feet? He's not only getting shorter, but he's my getting are, fatter. My feet are, or my, uh, my body is tiny, but I have these huge dwarf he's, yeah. he's just got a couple of dwarf feet on his hands with sucker cups. <laughs> it's like socks that he's just wearing on his hands. <laughs> so, using my uh, nimble, nimble elf gnome feet. feet, I'm going to sort of run down the curved trunk. Okay. And jump up as I'm underneath its head, and I'm gonna try to use my rapier to pry. Ping. The, <laughs> the, the 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 uh the shard out of its uh chin. Area. Dude, just fucking suck that shit right out of the fucking neck, bro. Just do it. Make an. It's gonna be kind of like a grapple or like take an item from someone else. So. Okay. Slide of hand. Uh, yeah, slide of hand will work, but he's gonna oppose with acrobatics. Okay, so no, slide of hand. Nice. Oh my god. Don't worry, his it's acrobatics just... is terrible. He's a giant rotating you turtle. You have to grab the crystal, and then you're just like, you, you, you think you're really close, but then it pans out to the rest of the everybody else's perspective, and you're like 10 feet away from it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you seen, like, have you seen Harmon Quest, Graham? Do you know yeah. what Harmon Quest is? Okay, yeah, very first episode of Harmon Quest. They describe a scene of a guy who's trying to like cut the Achilles heel of two yeah. soldiers standing next <laughs> to each other. And he runs past them and he's like, all right, did I get him? He's like, no, nah, you were like a fucking meter away from them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he sticks out the sword. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. <laughs> uh... So, uh, let's see. So, how, how far did I move to get up to him? About, what, 10 feet? Uh, that was like 5 feet. God, this yeah, must be like a okay. fucking enormous cliff to you, then. So You'd just be like I'm falling move... forever. Like, Fuck's my speed. 35, so, he's mm. so, I'm going to move uh, 40 feet behind him. Okay, so like underneath him? Yeah, I'm going to just run underneath. I like the idea that I'm hanging under this foot and you, and you yeah. run past him like, hey. <laughs> Hi, Gormon! Bye, Gormon! Bye. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna climb this bitch. Okay. A athletics. I'm gonna climb it and try and do that same run again over the neck. If I can. Alright, athletics to get up and then acrobatics to get across. Twenty one, I think is good enough. Okay. And a five! <laughs> I fall for the same hole. You, you, you 
climb up to the back again. You're like, okay, this time for real. Uh. And then at that point, the dragon, uh, the dragon, since it's the dragon takes turn after yours, it rears up to like follow gags while you're on the neck. So you're like trying to run up now, <laughs> and you fall back onto the back, onto its back. All right, good. Hashtag good. didn't die. So. <laughs> Hashtag still in the fight. Hashtag didn't get taken out before fighting. Hashtag Derimbo. <laughs> you have 30 HP and see how how long you last. Dude, I have 99 HP. It feels hard to be this tanky, okay? I don't even get hit as much as you do. That's the other thing, too. Come on, bitch. Anything else? Um, can I attack the base of its neck? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. In this server, sure. Yeah. 16. 16 just hits. 21. All right. 29. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking hell, dude. I can only roll sevens and I think fives. I've got like four crits in this past fucking hour. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can, at least you get to roll. Uh, you get to I roll? Mean, you get to roll. For my life. <laughs> 21 and 50. So that's you, 59. You can be 59 again. You begin to make chops at the base of its neck or where its neck sort of uh, connects to its body. You see it's got this like very, very heavy duty iron ring that connects its this sort of accordion like tube to its body. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like uh, like HVAC uh, tubing. Like, like uh, do you mean in between like those bendy buses? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's still very much alive, but actually in, in, in fourth edition terms, that bloodies it. Okay. okay. All right, Grant. Uh, okay, the creature continued, it, it sort of, at, he, <laughs> as the creature was sort of rearing up, head never sort of leaving where Gags was going, it sort of seems very affixed on Gags as its only target, as its only quarry. Um, Climb inside but it, of it. But it is aware of Gormung on its back, so Gormung is going to take its tail shot, like, incredible style, it's going to go, try and get you with, like, tail, okay? Don't fucking bring it on, Ned. Gormung 28 hit you? Uh, ah, yeah. mate, I got 37 HP armor, so. You take, you take Hard 20, armor. Uh, you take, sorry, uh, I don't know how to add, take 15 points of piercing damage, okay? Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm just like, ow, that kind of hurt. But it's going to about face and it's attempt to claw gags again. Gags. Uh, how far away is gags realize... from me? Uh, at this point, about 20 feet. Gags, the thing is going to about face uh -huh. uh, like 180 degrees with, get, with Gormung on top as it sort of rears up and then back down facing you again. It's going to claw at you again. Okay? It's got a certain amount of movement to pick up you. Okay? That. All right. Gags, get behind uh, natural, me. Natural one. So it, Woo! It, That's, I don't, that doesn't, that doesn't beat my AC. <laughs> <laughs> It may not. Uh, it, it, yeah, it, it, it may hit you with everything but that. Um, Durimbor. Durimbor. Will Durimbor get himself into the fight? He will not, but he stabilizes. All right. Sure. He's just, uh, like, just rolls over. He's like, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the way it is. that's just the way it is. Right. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll shoot it in the box. Okay. Butt shot. It, it span around, right? So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I emerge from the shadows of the leaves. <laughs> Do you have like more face paint on every time you come out? Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I just the two lines. Every and then time just I come out, it's like more <laughs> it's and like more your... face paint. And then I get like one of those camo hats and. And you start sticking leaves to your face as well. Oh your arrows God. turn into just like twigs that you found. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm going to slip back into the <laughs> into the leaves. You're like just kidding. This this <laughs> this time I have a slightly sadder expression. On Jokes on you. I was pretending. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Best joke you've ever made, uh, Sheepdog. By the way, like that's fantastic. That, the best joke. Uh. Whose turn is it? Gags. Oh, it's Gags. me. Um, he doesn't seem right. that tough. He missed. Didn't even touch you. Yeah. 
So, I take him head on. Yeah. I mean, I've taken he's... zero damage from this thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've taken more than zero. Um, okay, so he's about 20 feet away from me, Graham, you said? He's adjacent to you. I mean... Oh, he's on me. He is adjacent and 20 feet away from you, if you depending on what part. Are we talking like human Shit. feet or like your ever in decreasing in size feet? Change foot. Uh, what do I what do I feel in my chest when it's like near me? Um, Love. overwhelming urge to destroy and and or absorb it. How would I absorb it? Uh, well, once it, once it's just like once you kill the thing. Right. Uh, and somebody absorbs it or it's destroyed, you, you'll feel better. You'll lose that exhaustion. Um. Okay, I'm going to try to give it a taste of its own medicine. Okay. You're going to make turtle I'm, soup? No, I'm going to uh, spray it with poison. Okay. Take that, poison asshole. Uh, it's, you must succeed on a constitution saving throw. I believe it would be 14. No, it makes me. Makes 14. Finally. 15. 15. 15. I'll roll 14. Okay. <laughs> Gags right, gets so his revenge. It takes. Uh, hold on. Shit. I just lost it. It takes. Five damage. Oh. Um, 2d12 <laughs> damage. So let me roll. Oh, that. God. I hope it's five. I hope it's a one and a one. Mm hmm. Kill steel. Kill steel. Sixteen. Hey. Okay, sounds good. You, you give it a it massage. Good. All right, and then I want to uh, jump up and wrap my arms around its neck. Okay, make an, make another one of those grab checks. Uh, what are what were we using? Acrobatic. Acrobatic. Acrobatics. Yep. Athletics. I'm sorry. Yeah. Athletics. Uh, athletics? Yeah, athletics yeah. to initiate. Okay. Where is athletics? I can't do spelling. God, are you? I'm like, okay, now's the time. I like the idea that you try and jump, but you just like. It's just too. He's too tall. You, no, you, you forgot how anything. small you are. <laughs> uh, Gormung. Yeah. I'm like trying to reach the cookie jar on top of the refrigerator. All right, Graham. Hit. Rodeo style. You said it's so. How much of through the neck have I made it? Uh, a bit, some, a non-zero amount. Do I feel like if I was to continue hacking and sacking away, that I would get through this neck in one turn? Not one turn. In that case, I will brave the neck once more. Good sir. Acrobatics. Here we go. <laughs> oh, <again. laughs> do I at this least is an day, do I at least yeah. fall uh on the back again? Uh no, but you hold on with your legs. Alright, Graham. I'm going for that kill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna attack. Nice. Very nice. I hate you so much. Very nice. <laughs> Oh my god. 42 right. damage. Man, remember when I used to use a fucking glaive, guys? You remember that time? Like, you remember when I used to use glaive? What, what happened to your glaive? You Glaives blew it the pussies. fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead. Oh, yeah. It's in the, it's in a million pieces. Uh Grant, you hear you hear the creature say all must be consumed and then it uh, it is going to... I will make you uh, lunch. <laughs> Keep cutting its neck. It's going to claw at Gags again. Oh, shit. Gags, 18. Yes. Everything but <laughs> one hits me. <laughs> <laughs> 16, uh, blood, 16 slashing damage. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, jeez, Rick. It's going to bring the tail around. Try and get you again. 30. God damn it, yes. That's for Gormung. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's for Gormung. Wait, what hang also, Hang on, wait, also, wait, wait. 
Wait, 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 wait. Repeat that? On. Sorry. 16 for gags, slashing. And now right. 16 for one. 16? Oh, okay. Shit, okay. I, I thought I was going to be dead. Mm -hmm. uh, it also appears at the end of its turn that it regains the sort of exhaustion uh, or exhaust smoke sort of property. All oh, right. shit. Did it have to open Dur its mouth to do that? Like axe. Durenbor, Durenbor, what do you have to say? From the distance. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, will, will you allow me to make another death save just for the crit chance? Sure. Ah, damn it. I, well, you lose one. You, you fall unconscious again. You're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue hanging out of your mouth. Yeah, me trying to like muster my will to get up and join the fight has caused my wound to reopen. <laughs> Grant, what's it going to be? I will shoot it in the butt again. <laughs> I just, all I can imagine is you just peeking out of leaves. Yeah, but this time That's he... all I can see. <laughs> this this time it's upside down. Yeah. Just like it's just like straight down and like <laughs> I keep appearing out of different parts of this square like bush of leaves. I, I imagine it being like a tiny, tiny little thing of leaves as well. Like there's <laughs> nowhere know. else you could hide. <laughs> Every Literally. every time I appear, it's always head first. You so know what? Like this is going to be the this is going to be the time where you fail your stealth save, and the the dragon's just like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 okay, this time this time for real. What? He wrote it. Oh what? God! Are you kidding me? Twang. <laughs> and then you now you turn red. Retract back into the trees. I'd like to sulkily retract back into the trees, please. <laughs> come on, uh, and of come course, on. come on. Oh, God. Oh, I was hoping better. for a man. Like, was... oh. It's just like, come on, I wanted to happen. <laughs> Unless you do something, this thing is going to breathe its steam exhaust at you. Uh, uh, Get behind me, I, little one. I do something. All right, like what? Did I win? Try and try and oh, climb. Try and right. climb onto me. I'll protect no, you. No, I'm all right. No, I have an idea. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, I need. Okay, so I. It's a. I'm hang gonna, on. Is is it a deck save to get out of the way? Con save. No, con save. save. I'm <laughs> it's fucked. a constitution save. I'm fucked. I, I've literally. Seriously, in come to me. Seventeen weeks. In seventeen weeks, I have succeeded on one fucking constitution throw, and that's it. And that was the time so, you brought out the thing. So here's yeah. what, here's what you do. Get the boards. Get the fucking boards. Climb onto me. <laughs> get, your, get your safety blankets. I mean, I you're... Okay. All right. He's got the board. He's got the board. <laughs> got the boards. He's still got all the right. radio. There. Only rolling well now. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump. I, mean, I got to grab onto this fucking thing's neck. Okay. All right. So that was athletics? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Higher than ten. Nope. You have got fucking work, that, man! That remains Alright, where where is he? Graham, where is he in the world? I'm right underneath its neck. Yeah, he's just right underneath its neck. He's okay. Thinking. Can I ratatouille this motherfucker? <laughs> 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 oh wait. So, I have the highest strength on, you can get in this game. Come on. Hold on, though. If, if I'm underneath of it, and it tries to, like, blow its poison spray, <laughs> won't it just blow itself up into the fucking stratosphere? Maybe. But I stay where but, I am. But not, but not if it's <laughs> coming from a different place. Bitch. Not if it's coming I, from a different hose. <laughs> I, uh, I stay where I am. Alright, sounds good. Gormung, what do you want to do? You want to grab him? <laughs> Kill it, Gormung. You, you know what? I'm ratatouling this motherfucker. I'm going to save gags, man. This thing can wrap its head anywhere. So, <laughs> I'm going to stop it from doing that. Does it still know where Durimbor is? Because if it doesn't have a target, it may just fire at Durimbor. Maybe. <laughs> Which yeah, would sure. probably kill him. Outright. Nah. So here's what I want to do. I want to point it at a tree that I've seen over in the corner there. It's it keeps wiggling for some reason. I'm not sure <laughs> why. <laughs> um or the other thing I want to do, Graham. 
is it possible for me to like bind his mouth shut somehow? Uh, you have to get up there first, so you got to climb the rest of the way. Okay, uh, athletics to climb. Athletics to like you know like army army shimmy your way over there. Like man yeah. on a coconut tree. Okay, all right. Wasn't it the other one, acrobatics? That was to run across the necks. To run along oh, the neck. Yeah. Right, no. right. All right. 26. Yeah, right. dog. All right. Um, there, teach, there, me, yeah. teach me your ways. Like, you're getting, you're getting snapped and popped by the electricity in its mouth. All right, can I... Actually, I'm close to the crystal now, yeah? Yeah. Can I, like, like suck that bitch up? Uh, you gotta make a grab for it. So this is gonna be an opposed roll. Right? Of what? Also, Gags does need it. Your athletics. My athletics? Okay. Yeah. 17. It also makes 17. So it just barely ekes out the way. So not this turn. Can't get a hold on it. Fuck Are you me. pushing a different button than me to get double digit rolls? <laughs> <laughs> Am I am I just doing it wrong? Wait, are you are you playing? Did, did you, are you are you hitting the fail button? It's, it's right next to it's right There's next to the roll button. Son of a bitch, I am. <laughs> All right, I, am I able to attack, Graham, or is that my roll? Yeah, sure. All right, um, I'm going to try and. I'm gonna, get one, I'm gonna say that was that's one action. Yeah, okay. That. That, I, I I'm perfectly fine with that. All right. Um, so, am I able to uh, use an attack to gouge out its eyes? Does it have eyes? Yeah, it's yeah. Eyes. See, that's uh, what I was trying to do. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I want. I want to try and just bring the axe down on like the front of its face and like try and get okay. both the eyes. You know. Um, okay. Sure. How's a one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You once again very awkwardly try to position yourself to get the eyes, and then you, you hit, but uh -huh. at a funny angle, and the, the the sheer force that you bring down on the on the creature, with so much anger, causes you to lose your balance and lose your grip on the neck, and you fall right next to Gags. All right. On the ground. I fall next oh. to him. I want to roll on top of that little little man. Okay. I want to roll on top of him, and I'm like, this one's for you, Gags. And I'm like. No! <laughs> Roll a Constitution saving throw to not get crushed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll do, I'll do, I'll do the, you know, uh, I'll do the like, grab the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's like the size of like a like, like a, a like a small like a puppy, bear, right? Yeah, so, yeah like you can just like puppy. cover him. All right, you got. Uh, I need you guys each to make a Constitution save gag and give me advantage because the creature rears up very high and straight down. And uh, just like it's exhaust, so constitution saved for everybody. I did this on oh. purpose, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, oh god, here we go. Oh. 16. That's gotta be enough. That's gotta be I enough. Just... Damn it, Gags, what is wrong with you? You had, you had advantage. You had oh, I had advantage. Had advantage. Oh. Yay! Gorman, Gorman protected you, which I'll tell you this 19 is what you need. Woo! Really? Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, get fuck all, man. Strong and very powerful and worth a lot. So, ouch. Fucking oh, hell. Take 84 points of poison damage. Gags, you take half of that. You take 42. Oh, I'm down. All right. I'm, I'm down, down. Pretty sure Gormung's down, too. But I just saved you from instantly dying, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah, I'm down. What is your max HP? 54. Okay, so I didn't, so it was pointless. <laughs> yeah. Alright, great. Alright, so I'm on 68 HP of 99, and this guy just did 84 damage. 84. <laughs> um, any, if you we were any other weaker man, you would as be gag, As Gag surmised previously, when it blows down on the ground like that, he just kind of lift up a little bit. Uh, and as it does so, it sort of stays on its rear legs and just kind of surveys the area, not sure what to do next. The room board. Oh, yeah, never mind. Sorry. Grant. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I come out the side of the leaves with a very serious face, 
stare deathly at the dragon and slowly restring my bow. <laughs> Wait, where'd you get the elf hair from? Do you just have a clump from me. of the rimbo I stole elf? It from, I stole it. I, I, like, because I knew this was going to happen. I stole a whole load of hair from No, the, I don't yeah. believe you. Also, I... can, I sh can I shout in Infernal? Sure. I would, I would like to shout in Infernal. There's some really tasty humans in the village down there. I advise you go down and burn the entire village down. You can you can't Please. hear it because I'm I'm choking on poison right now, but like you know, you just hear like infamable rage come from a bottle a boiling poison pot that I'm in. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like I, 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 I want to basically say pretty much like go kill all those humans down there and if you can burn down the village. I wish I never attacked the eyes. I wish I never tried to save this little fucking shit of a gnome. <laughs> uh, I wish yeah, I wasn't on the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. This is my bread and butter right here. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm, good at, I'm good smokes. at not dying. Oh, fuck. Oh, That's a failure. First failure. Gormong, death saving throw. How are oh, you yeah. doing that? Ah, it's called... Stop hitting the fail button! <laughs> so, Grant, you you decided to shout, but you didn't re-stealth. Was that on purpose? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's happened. I stealth? forgot to go back into the leaves. Shit! <laughs> yeah, do you, do you I like the stealth? idea that there's just your butt hanging uh, out yes. of the leaf patch. <laughs> it's, like... It's, it's, it's like the butt flap flops open as well. <laughs> it was just green, and then it was just like... <laughs> it got 27. Uh, so the creature's not sure what to do right now. It it looks around. It kind of surveys the area again. Um, did did it not react to me shouting about the tasty humans in the town? Who may have? Okay. Uh, What's a human? Trying, What's a town? Knock its way back towards the village. It begins to leave the scene. Towards the village. Yeah, towards Perfect. the way it was going previously. Okay, I'm gonna wait till it's gone. You fucking right. bitch. It's literally well, bloodied. And all you need, all you need is like two more hits on that thing. You don't know that. See, we will see if your allies last that long. Grant, what do you want to do? Uh, it's it's about faced. And so it's not looking at me? Right. Can, can I stealth down the tree? Yeah, sure. I'm going to fall and poo myself again. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, 27. You... You, you you leap down onto the tree, good, or uh, onto the ground, good. Uh, I'd like to stealthily make my way to what? Can I take? Can I like take the leaves with me? <laughs> it's like a branch. Yeah, I just I want a branch with it. I feel safe in the tree. Why are you so such I'm an acme take... motherfucker? Like what? Like what happened <laughs> to make you like this? Did you get Look, touched by a wildly coyote or something? If something, something like works, mate, don't question it. Just go with it. That, that's what you learn in in. Broke, Did Foghorn school. Leghorn like fucking like tease you as a child? Like what's going on? I just on? imagine Grant going meep meep and just disappearing <laughs> out of view. <laughs> Fuck this. All right. Uh, so yes, uh, I'd I'd like to get as close as I can to them and hopefully save them if they can get to them. I can get to them. Yeah. Could is would I be able to stabilize one of them at all? Do gags first. He's got yeah. the less. No, yeah, yeah. I'm being in his kill or cure at this point, really. Wait, it? aren't we in a giant pile of poison? Like, what are. Or is no, it steam? It, it, yes. So oh, okay, yeah. Dispersed. Uh, there it is. Okay. Yay! And, um, Hemi, you're not actually. Well, I don't know if you chose to, but you didn't have to go down. Because oh, of yeah, because you got your resilience. resilience. Oh, fuck so, yeah, I get back up. Are you kidding me? Oh, I completely forgot about that oh, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm I, was, I was trying to tell you that while we made in, in roleplay. I'm like, yeah, if you were any weaker race, you would have gone down, but oh. because you were an orc, <laughs> ah, <laughs> I was trying to trigger you remembering that. I, 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 like, I, saying it. I like the I'm idea that I just, I just like my, uh, like an orcish hand reach, uh, reaches up, like grabs a twig, uh, the branch off the branch, snaps it, <laughs> and brings it back down, puts it on Hell top yeah. of my body, <laughs> and just like lays there <laughs> like this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm stabilized now, right? You're stabilized, but Gormung, do you, do you want to go down or do you not want to go down? 
I don't want to go down. I'm gonna. All right. So in fact, the creature didn't move then, because the creature would have stayed where it was. So let's. <clears throat> okay. So I'm back up in my in my tree, and I've restrung my bow. Yes. Okay. Cool. Oh fuck. So I'm not stabilized. So you're not stabilized. Come on, what do you? Uh, so in that case, gag. Make a death saving throw. Yeah. Hold on. All right. Oh, I was clicking death and not save. That's why. Save. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> Gags is gonna finally die. This is not Gormag. good. Gormag, you better make it count. You better oh make it count. This I'm is not sorry. good. I can't this get out. I cannot believe. Like, I know the running gag on Die Party for me is that I have shitty rolls. This is probably the shittiest <laughs> in three years. This is the shittiest I have ever fucking rolled on this goddamn show. <laughs> better, better be worth it. Oh. It, it must be the heat or something, but like we're uh, all dying, but I'm having so much fun doing it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who? Okay. Uh, all right. Um, how far away is this creature? Well, it's still right there. If 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 if, if you didn't go down, it didn't move because it knows you're alive. <sighs> okay. Uh. I look down at my at my friend. You're standing there defiantly, blood running down your face, and it's there too. I'm like, I'm like, uh, uh, oh. <laughs> um, I'm going to first use my bonus action to second wind. Not yeah. that it's gonna matter. <laughs> I <I'm> wanna <laughs> do it. Uh, <laughs> what now, bitch? <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, so that's a D10 plus my level, yeah. Okay. Uh, fighter level, yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm only fighter, so... Yeah, I understand. Oh, come on, you trash panda. Oh, shut up! Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm still on the ground. I have yeah. not taken any action this entire fight. All right. Um, <clears throat> all right, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, oh, man. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, pick up gaggles. Okay. I'm going to try and... Uh, now you said I was taking chunks out of its back, yeah? Yeah. Is there a hole there now? Mm, yeah, sure. I want to take gags. I want to climb up that bitch. I want to slide into that hole. Okay, I'm so you're going to make a athletics roll to get up there. Okay. I mean, gags well, weighs just... nothing, so, you know. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's like a pencil, right? Oh my god, an eleven. Oh, fuck me. Is that but enough? He, he, even despite that, despite being the size of a microbe, he you you can't even get up there. Uh, <laughs> despite despite, despite being the size of an atom. <laughs> I'd like to inhale gags. But... <laughs> gags, you just fall into my bloodstream through my hand. Yeah. <laughs> You're there on his knee. I'm else. fine. Um, hey, I would like to use. Uh, can I use Indomitable to re-roll that, or do I, is it only saving throws? Uh, I think it might be only saving throws. I, I could be wrong, though. Uh, uh, I should know this roll. Yeah. I'm disappointed in myself. Uh, indomitable. Um, saving throw. Saving throw only. Saving throw only? Okay, well, yep. and I can't do that, Graham. Kill it. Can I attack? Please, please kill it. Yeah. You're there on, hanging onto its leg plate. Alright. Uh, does it look like its damage is separated into parts? Uh, no, it's not. I'm just saying that. Alright, I'm going to fucking uh, cut up at its stomach. Like, yeah. Alright. Uh, uh. Uh, okay. I mean, this is going to be a one. We all know it. Fuck no. Oh, thank God. 42. 42. It dies. It's like, yeah. Oh, I just burst out of it like a... One turn like that, it won't make it, okay? But it, for this next turn, it's still alive. The creature will take this opportunity. It knows Gormung's there. It knows he's alive. It's going to take his tail. Mm -hmm. And then it seems to pierce Gormung. Uh, and sort of like pry him off of the uh, off the leg there. Does twenty hit you? I have twenty armor class. Does it go to the defender? What? 
No. <laughs> I mean, I've hit him in the fucking head with a 17, and he's been like, well, I'm just, just fucking I'm a closet defense. I'm like, okay, that means it happens to me too. So, Gormon, you take the least damage it can, and you take 11 points. I'm still That's alive. I'm You're still, still alive. alive. <laughs> I have <laughs> one <laughs> HP. Oh, come on. Can can I can I do another death save? Can I resurrect from the dead and steal this kill from? <laughs> <laughs> kill, steal, kill, steal. Just because I feel sorry for you, make another death save out of out of sheer drama's sake. Yes, GM pity. Oh, oh, <laughs> so oh dude, twice. So, so I, close. I've, I've made. I like, like no no no. I love throws. the idea that you fucking like you wake up, you see this monster, be like. Oh, and you just like you pull out your bow, you pull out an arrow, you go to string it, you realize you crushed your bow string on the way down. You're like, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> so I've made five death saving throws, two so were creature... 19s, one was an 18, and yeah. I don't remember the other two. The creature takes one last action, it gets two attacks, so it's gonna reach reach around with one arm to try and peel Gormung and Gags from the from its side. I'm like, nah, I'm like hanging on the wood. <laughs> I don't want to go to bed. That's only that's only seventeen, which I believe misses. Yeah, I AC twenty, so Alright, Grant, what do you wanna do? <sighs> Grant, you fucking <laughs> you fucking better roll under forty two. You better you roll under forty two. You steal this shit. You steal it or gags die. No pressure. <laughs> no no, Grant. I here's what happens, okay? He shoots his thing, it dies, it falls on top of us, we all die. <laughs> I majestically come out the top of the leaves this time. <laughs> Heroically like this. I draw my bow <laughs> and I shoot it in the butt. <laughs> Doink. <the> butt. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. And then you land on the ground. <laughs> butt is too and then, then I did just goes it uh, I didn't string it properly, it just goes. <laughs> and I would like to go back into the leaves, please. Death saving throw. Oh. This is it, right? Last one? Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is... Gags lives or dies here. I've got uh, you in my arms still, man. I, I, I mean, yeah, well, <laughs> great. Thanks thanks for not stabilizing me. He just, <laughs> just here. Oh, oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh. You guys all see... Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like, don't worry, Gags. I got this. Like, uh, uh, uh. and then I look down. I'm just like, Gags. Yeah. Oh. No, you. Uh, Gormung actually Grant's body. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> can, can it be Grant, Grant please? <laughs> what? What? Did I just fall out of the tree? <laughs> yeah. This entire time, Gags has actually been Grant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Master of disguise, Gags. You got. You look at Gags' body. It begins to get very, very hot, and it begins to glow. And you guys all see this. Uh, his body begins to glow. I don't see this. Light as uh, in Durham board, you kind of like one eye. Uh, what's happening? <laughs> Glow incredible bright blue light, and um, in fact, the crystal that's underneath the the creature's head begins to yank energy, begins to siphon energy away from Gags's corpse. Oh, you're and fucked it. now. I reach into uh, Gags and I take that crystal and I crush it in my hands and I well, siphon that heard. energy. Now you turn yet. Ah, oh, god damn it, I want Gormung, it's your turn. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, is this siphoning happening right now? Yeah. All right, I want to stop it. I want to stop the siphoning. This crystal, where is it in Gags' body? Dead center. Dead center? Like, is it, is it like fucking, like, inside. Iron Man sticking out of him? Like, it's inside. Like, I, I look at gags. I look at all this like energy coming out. I like see the wounds like closing on this fucking metal creature, and I'm just like, I'm sorry, old friend. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out the crystal, and I'm just like, and I just crush You're it in my out. hands. <laughs> yeah. All right. Short that shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I want you to roll three d twelve. <laughs> fucking. Oh. Fuck. Gags, you're full of energy, bro. I should have done this a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I should have stuck my hand in my own chest. Good thing you didn't tell Drimble. He was 16. <laughs> Crack open Gags. <laughs> <laughs> cracking, up a, cracking open a cold Gags with your best friends. <laughs> oh, on, what else? Um, and then I'm going to, uh, you know, attack this creature. 
I'm going to actually, you know what? Um, uh, actually, I'm probably better off attacking it with my axe, to be honest with you, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> than trying to do like a, you know, uh, fire hand or something like that. Okay. Ooh. Right. Actually, let me Let's check see. my let me check my spells real quick. Right. Does gust of wind do any damage? No. Okay. I think it pushes away. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, <sighs> I'm going to just. I'm just gonna be like, and then I'm just gonna like bring the axe down as hard as I can on this. For I'm... drama's sake, for drama's sake, it has exactly 42 hit points left. Do I need to hit yeah. both of them? Both times. Why did it fucking put me on the spot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. For gaggles. Do it. Okay. Good. Oh! So you got it. You like throw uh, the broken, battered corpse of gags onto the ground, uh, and then like, but let let go, let go of the of the creature's axe or uh, his leg. Grab your axe with both hands and like with just sheer force of strength, like propel yourself up on up into the air and just go <laughs> head comes off slams to the ground the body collapses uh the crystal there on the ground kind of flutters out no and all graham and stuff to stop before it's it flutters out i want to grab it i want to run over to the gags's corpse i want to jam that bitch in there Ooh, very interesting. okay uh cool uh gags yeah i want you to make uh, a single roll, a single like death saving throw, just a single d20. Okay. And if you roll, and if you roll above a 10, a 10 or uh, above a 10, so 11 through 20, that works. Well, okay, so we know it's a fail. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> you run over and you like jam it into his chest. And then you're like, and you're like, no, that that should work. That should work. And like, uh, 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 uh. it's not going anywhere. Nothing's happening. Well, have you seen? Have you seen um, Sin City One? Yeah. Okay. Bruce Willis is punching that yellow dude. Yeah. And I'm just like, it should work. And I just like end up pulverizing his body and just like, come on, it's, it's got to work. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I shoot the dragon thing in the head. Okay. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I just put thumbs up to go among like. But not even your thumb anymore. It's not just like it looks like a tree branch. So you're, yes, just yes, 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 in, yes. you're completely covered in bark now. I'm basically a bush at this point. Yeah, I'm basically sitting there just like like sobbing, like man sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> As you're sobbing, the arrow just comes through and hits the thing in the head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Break time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Guys, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in uh, three to five. Don't go nowhere. More of this to come. Nice oh legs, Graham. Damn. <laughs> Saddest show on earth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I was telling them in the in the break, and let's say this for everybody. Uh, so that creature, design design wise, was a mix between an ancient red dragon and an iron golem, uh, swished together. Did we just fucking kill a dragon equivalent of a dragon? 
yeah. So that that thing in total is worth twenty eight thousand XP. Okay. Mm. So you guys, you guys each take ninety five hundred experience points, except for Jags. <laughs> ninety five hundred. Do you want us to do this now, or should we wait till the end? No, just just for just for fun. Okay. Um, and just to clarify, so I'm going to be coming back as level eight. Yeah, that sounds right. Whatever, one one less than Durimbor, I guess. That would be. Okay. Well, I just seven. yeah, I just hit nine. So. Oh okay. Oh, okay, all right. That that put me to nine. All right, so what happens next? You guys are there with the uh, Gags' corpse uh, that's been beaten to a pulp by Gormung trying to sh jam the crystal back into his body. Um, you guys have this second very large crystal, uh, much larger than Gags'. Um, well, uh, guys, whatever we do next, it needs to be worth at least 1,300 XP so we can hit level 10. What, we should, we what should, are you talking about? We should kill Drimble for his XP. What? He hasn't I, healed I feel like I just got some <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's way over there. <laughs> um, what a miss. Uh, hey guys, where'd the big thing go? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over and drag Durimbor to Gags's body. There you go. You start uh, lighting a pyre for both of them and I was like, no, he's not dead. What are you doing? <laughs> you don't know that. You're not a doctor. Fucking weekend at Bernie's just like Walk me around and shit. Um, you you're you're, you're like, actually oh. our compass now. We're gonna literally do the <laughs> that water thing that we mentioned. I mean, is, is that possible? We have this crystal, right? Is that is that possible? Can we get like a bucket of water and just can have we, it point to another crystal? Can we push the crystal into Dorimbo's chest? <laughs> uh, I can't say no. <laughs> you, you almost like made magic, me choke right? on my chocolate milk with that shit. You fucking asshole. <laughs> You, you, you like magic, right, mate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you have a spot I mean, open on the show. What, what are you going to do to my unconscious body? It, I'm it, just going to shove a crystal into it. It's a crystal compass. or residuum, so depending on what, who knows what'll happen. I'm willing <laughs> to give it a shot. Don't you fucking dare. All right, well, shall I just burn gags then? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think anything else would be sanitary at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Given, I, I owe him that much. Given what he's gone through, I think I think we better, you know, burn I, uh, him to I get, ash. I I, sna I snap a few twigs off my uh, branch uh, thing that I'm carrying with me now. Um, what is that, I by build... the way? You look absolutely fucking ridiculous. Uh, right. Um, and I I build a tiny little pyre about about this big, and I put Gags's body in it. Inch and a half. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a matchstick. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it's just, it's just, a, it's just one <laughs> two by four. It's just like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we All get right. an official ruling now that Gags is dead? How small is he now? <laughs> <laughs> he Which part of him, mate? The, the rules say he's of indeterminate size. So. <laughs> mm. How how he's as big as he as he was in your heart. So. He's as big as you need him to be. Okay. I, I'll let, let me say a few words over this pyre. <clears throat> Grant oils me up one more time. This time with <laughs> just a to, just to burn him better, you know. Like... <laughs> yeah, it's just like Gags was a big man. He was large in life, and well, he had much to live for. The world couldn't kill him, so the only thing the thing that could was. Well, supernatural and gross. I like kick the fucking dead thing next to it. It's like, without him, we would have been dead long ago, stuck within the eternal tombs of some, I don't know, fucked up underground demon spawning otherworldly bullshit place. I owe him a lot. I just wish that in his final moments he could have rolled better. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Next. Gags. Gags. Yes. Gags. Gags. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. That, that was inappropriate. Um, Gags, I barely knew you. <laughs> <Turn ball. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I was on the floor. 
very moving. Oh, on the floor and kind of <laughs> Very moving, Dorimbo. And uh, you know what? I actually pick up your body. I'm just like, he was a, a good friend. And then I just drop him. <laughs> uh, and I, then I pick him up. I'm like, law, law, law. You can't do that. Blah, blah, blah. They stop his face. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's very inappropriate at a funeral. Oh. Thank you. Should we go grab a drink? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the town's fucked. So Drimble's gonna owe me some money for that bet. What bet? I bet that the town would burn down before we left. I like turn around. Is the town on fire, Graham? <laughs> yeah, is the town on fire? Uh, make a perception check or a series of them. Oh no, because it didn't go down there. God damn it. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I think you owe him money, actually. Uh, remember, there was also there was also a second larger object in the ocean. Oh, good points. Please be on fire. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, yep. I I have investment in this. Okay, uh, Grant Gormung, you both look over along the horizon uh, where the town uh, is. I was about to say should be, mm -hmm. but the town should be. Uh, and it's it's still there. It's, everything seems fine. Nothing out of place. Nothing out of the ordinary. Shit. No, I'm pay up, motherfucker. Wait, well, he's not awake yet. Do you think I could go down quickly and like set on fire? <laughs> you know, for a moment you... there, I you know I thought we'd get along again, but you just proved to me that the longer you live, the more likely I want to kill you. And it's, it, let's be real here. It's not because of your, in, you know, impossible to get along with nature or the fact that, you know, you, you pee with the door open. I mean, sometimes. No, it's, it's all the time. But the thing that got me is that you wouldn't just settle at one town. You had to take, you, if you think you, you joke or maybe you don't about taking another You've already burned down the town, man. Just leave it at that. Like part of the town. And I didn't do it. We've been through this. That like half of the town years. that you burned down is the same size, if not it's bigger, like than that town. town there. Like a quarter of the town. Yeah. And also, I didn't burn it down. You know what? So, Graham, I'm going to, uh, you know... Uh, Kill Grant. <laughs> is, uh, I'm going to take uh, uh, Jirimbor over the shoulder. And uh, <laughs> gonna go find somewhere to camp to rest up because I'm at one HP of 99 with literally nothing else. So I'm going to camp. Do you want me to protect you or shall I go and find some booze? Go find some booze. I'll be right here. I uh, won't wander off towards town. Okay. Uh, full, H make full HP. <laughs> <laughs> doop, 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 doop. <laughs> With my with my branch, you make your way down to town. There are walking fast. A, take uh, this pass, uh, and I'm homebound. Grant, you you make it down to the um, town, the local tavern. Uh, like I said, it's 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 this is a place where people eat, and that's that's pretty much it. Uh, though there is an inn uh, as well. This is just people come here to eat, and that's where they get their food from. Uh, so there's a cook, there's a bartender, and there that's pretty much it. Um, now, uh, it is about mid-morning now, because you did take three hours to walk here, recall. Uh, so it's about mid-morning, uh, so breakfast is over, uh, lunch is being prepared for, uh, if, if people need to eat lunch. Um, are you curious what's on the menu? Um, no, I'll just grab some. I know, I know Gormung will want to cook something himself. Yeah, I like the idea right. that you're just like, what's on the menu? Oh, it's probably shit anyway. <laughs> Gormung makes better. Um... Uh, so are you just getting some ale, wine? What's it gonna be? The the guy at the guy at the counters. He's human. He's got this very long beard, like to his belly button. Ball um, on top. Barkeep, I'd like some ale, wine, please. Uh, what do you what do you have? It, um, like, there's a flashback in your mind. It's like something that will burn the shit out of my throat. Is what you got for me? Acids, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He, he kind of motions to the bar behind him where there's three barrels. One of them says, 
Uh, one of them has a, a crest that you don't recognize. One of them has a dwarven crest, and one of them has a um, just sort of a, a, a series of words on it that says uh, says pale and it says foam. I'll have a third of each. Mix them together. Kind of his. He... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Will uh, that burn he... someone's throat? So the, the 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 first one is is more or less your typical ale color. So he pours a little bit of that. The second one is coal black, and the third one is 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 very very blonde looking with a lot of foam, and it kind of forms this dome on top. And he he gives it to you. Uh, I'll have two of those, please. All right, he makes another one. Uh, and then he says, the, he says the coal. He says the coal black is uh, it's a little more pricey than the other two. Got one silver. I'm assuming I do. So yeah, sure. Um, okay. And I, I flip it to him. I go. We're celebrating a friend's death. I don't really care. Me neither. Okay. Later. Goodbye. And I walk back. <laughs> All right. Good. I actually love you, Gags. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. What happens next? Uh, so you, you come back, voice. and you what? Do you hand me a? Is it a tankard? What? What did you take? I don't fucking know. I took it. <laughs> it's 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 a it's a huge like novelty mug. <laughs> I like that you got two of them and left Drimbo like without alcohol. Hey, yeah. fucking, he he didn't do anything. Just, uh, just the wrong. Yeah, I, I grab it and I sniff it. It's like. How did you, how did you find Orcus Ale all the way out here? I like drink it like <laughs> hardly. Oh my god, I, I, it I tastes exactly like this brand that we used to have back in the Highlands. Can't believe so it. So yeah, Gorma, you, you can you can you can tell the taste. Uh, there's there's a small little bit of taste in there that's that is coffee, which is a uh, which they don't really have around here. It's really just kind of a dwarven thing. Dwarves drink coffee uh, because they drink so much ale they get drunk all the time. <laughs> Uh, and so these guys, it, it, it would appear that at that tavern down there at the uh, in the field, they have a, a a ale mixed with coffee, which is fairly grotesque. But you know, eh. I like the idea that uh, Orkish ale is literally just like a muffin of mixed everything, because yeah. like they just keep stealing so much ale, different ales from everyone that they just mix them together, and yeah, it just definitely. ends up being like trash. It's like ugh. Just like mother used to steal. Mm. <laughs> well, to gags. Yes. To that little gags. Chunk glasses. Um, I'm, I've got like, I don't know, some sort of weird stew or something going on. Um, okay. Mostly made out of potatoes and dried meat or whatever that we have. So, gourmand. Yeah. What are we going to do about that big one that landed? I suppose we should kill it. Um, I've been trying to get this other crystal. I like hold the one that was like inert now, I guess, for the most part. I'm trying to get you it know, to see. It's, if... uh, it's still glowing faintly. I'm should trying. We... I'm trying to get it to point in a direction, and what I'm thinking. Oh. I, I, I get like a pot of water or something. Can I like put it in there and like have a point? Does it like point? Does it orientate? Make an investigation check. This is this is a scientific investigation. Investigation or insight? Oh no, they're two different. Yep, I see. Investigation. Yep. Um, you are. Did I invent the compass, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> you are certain beyond the shadow of a doubt that this crystal doesn't do that. It's a function of the person's brain that it's in that, that can tell that it, it's a detection sort of thing. So, so that it's not the crystal dragging itself to its mates. It's the person knows where to get more. It's sort of like an addiction side effect. So we grab a villager, shove that into his chest, boom, compass. I don't, I don't want that. Well, <laughs> what do you want? Cause Otherwise, we have no way to strike these fucking things. What we really need is... We need someone who can, like, reanimate the dead. I don't mind putting it in a corpse or something, but... A living being, no one should have to go through what Gags went through. 
Well, yeah, but we have no we'd have no way to know. Like it can't convey to us a direction or anything. And putting this, putting something like this in in something that's raised from the dead, would be dangerous at the very least. Maybe we should, should we just let Drimble snort it. Then maybe you know he won't go down instantly every time we fight something. Well, that was the other thing I was thinking. Yeah. But ideally, we need to. I want to keep one with us in case we can come across someone who can make something of it. You know. Okay. Well, because right now, as you said, we're we're kind of you know walking around, going to towns, trying to find a thing. So, yeah, we could just hang here for a bit. You can heal up and we'll see if it attacks the town. I think that's, I mean, I'm not leaving until I literally close my wounds. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. There's no point in moving until you're, you know, less weak. Is Drimble up at the moment? Yeah. Hey, After a while, he wakes up. Yeah. I slap him. Uh, <laughs> ah, ah. What? Oh god, the tree's back. Oh. No, it's just me. Jesus. What'd I miss? A lot. Uh, we won. Oh, good. That's good. Yeah. Mm, well, we lost gags. Where, where is he? Uh, he just ran off somewhere? No. I burned him. He actually died. He expired. Oh, he died. I thought you said he was a moron. Well, Turns he was so until he put this, one of these, in him. And it oh. took his immortality away from him. So I like I like flick it too, and it's like, what do you make of it? I don't know. Mayhaps I can check my Arcana knowledge and yeah. find out about it. Shiny. You're you're rolling mm. shitty because you're holding something that was touching me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. I'm not getting much from it. Maybe sometime later I could find notes or something. Not, not well, right now. if you if you want to uh, try and well, take, like I said before, like I said before, you know it's it, it's a crystal of pure magic residuum. Interesting. So this is this is what people are trying to get at when they destroy the magic items to use the power. It's that. The magic item has so much other stuff in it, like so many other types of materials, that you only get a little bit of magic. But this is pure magic stuff. This is pure magic. Well, That's maybe why it's got spell slots. Maybe we can get the nerds back at the city to fashion some kind of detection device, compass thing. I don't know. Potentially, but we'd have to go all the way back. Well, yeah, but we, like, aside from sitting here waiting for the city to maybe be attacked, we don't really have a plan. Well, our plan is to go from town to town and hopefully find an infestation. So, so far, they've just been attacking every town. So, I'm, How many towns have we I, been between the last attack and this one, Graham? Oh, you mean but the, the blob guys? Yeah. Uh, this was this was the next town. This was that was it. No one. Yeah, for one. so a one for one so far. So yeah. A half Honestly, one. I just think yeah, we keep going one, around seven, this five, map ish. here, and we just go to every town and see if it's affected or not. That sounds right. highly ineffective. Well, if this small one was what landed, then well, that Grant, big one must be to the north. If we figure that Gags is detection power was all was only in a one mile radius you would have to go to every town anyway yeah so i i just sort of uh look at um i, I look at drimbor and i'm just like why don't you uh crack that bitch open and play around with some magic it's safe yeah probably not Oh, well, how, how do I do it? Do I eat it like, like a corn? Or Just not? hold it in your hand and think about absorbing it. It's like, like a banana. You eat it sideways. <laughs> oh, like a grenade. Have you seen that gif of the guy just taking a banana and just putting the whole thing in his mouth and just going to laugh? Oh. <laughs> yeah. um, 
Yeah. So Do you want some I, clotted cream with that? No. no. I'm sorry. No. What? What is that? I'm, uh, I'm a chef, and I've never heard of that before. It's a callback to the glistening episode when. <laughs> in the oh yeah, the glistening. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So yeah, I, I will absorb this shard. <laughs> With a clotted cream. Um, yeah, so do you remember where you snort the crystal? Yeah. Alright, 4d12. Wow. Please, rolls. Hey, not bad. I'm at 22, hey. so, you know. 20. Right. Right. You can cast 20 spells, period. Nice. <laughs> uh, what what type of spells do you have access to, if you don't mind me asking? Ooh, some fun stuff. Yeah? Uh, spell. Slots. So, uh, because I've never had magic before, um, some of the cool spells I have um, are like slow, phantom speed, and haste, um, mirror image, blur, gentle repose, which would have been useful you know, a little bit ago. Um, uh, okay, so that doesn't actually bring it. All it would do is I could have, um, if I had sworn into Crystal earlier, I could have touched gags and preserved his body. Oh. Until someone could have raised him back up. Oh, I burned him. But so. <laughs> you burned him. And so I like the idea that um, we take his body to a thing, and some guy looks at him and he's like, holy fuck, this guy was alive at one point? <laughs> 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 I mean, Gormon did beat him to a pulp before I burned him. Uh, uh, yeah, so yeah. I got some cool stuff. I'm excited to see uh, what's going on. Like, hmm, you guys smell something? Everything smells weird. No. Oh, that would be the Febreze. Uh, everything smells cleaner when you're on magic. Mm, I like it. Yeah, it reminds me of that seaweed hut. Oh, yeah, it makes being around around this one a lot better. He, you know he shits his pants a lot, so... Mm. It's true, I do. I've actually never seen him shit his pants. Well, thank really? God for that. Uh, I've known him for a short amount of time, and he shat his pants like two days in front of me. Back to back. To be fair, one of the times was trying to affect my own escape. <laughs> like, a, like an animal? Like a defense mechanism? He fell I down a well and shit his pants. My... So. Well, no, no. That, that was the first time. The second time was when I was tied up. And he oh. shit his pants. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'll have to remember that if I get tied up. It's a useful defense mechanism. He, he lived, so, you know, can't prove that he's wrong. You lived because I was there. Yeah, I oh. didn't escape at all. <laughs> <laughs> so you just shat yourself for no reason. It's like five rounds of fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, then I'll not shit myself. Um. So what? So where's Gag's body? He's uh, just burning. Him. Yeah. What do you do with the ashes? It's scattered him in a in a hole in the ground. No, I, I got like a coffee jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Should we it's, should we should we sprinkle him in our drinks and then drink him? <laughs> oh god! If that you want if you want to get like an STD, I mean, like, go right I ahead. Seen clean. Gags was pure. Yeah, he was pure. <laughs> I don't so know. pure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't, I've seen him go to the brothel a couple times with a couple, a couple stab wounds afterwards. I don't think. Couple, <laughs> I don't think I want to have his ashes. Uh, so, well. Do we just continue with our plan? Next town? I think we should go next back. Shard? Go back we we like... need to I think we need to go back and consult because we don't we don't Nope, have we're going there. to the next town. We haven't changed our course so far. Let's keep going. It, keep it in... just make finding the shard a little more difficult. Well, I uh, sure, but you know, we had to be within a mile of it and those things are like a beacon for people coming at it, so and the last one What happened the to the two NPC humans. Yeah, one still uh, hanging in the tree, just be like. Eh. Are they just hanging in the tree still? Oh yeah, they're they passed out long ago. I'm just like, what envy? What envy? Oh fuck! Let's <laughs> 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 go back and uh, rescue them. Bring them down, feed them some stew, and be like, I'm sorry, but you saw what that creature was. It, priorities, you know. Our friend died trying to protect you and your town, so be thankful. Have some stew. They're, they're just very, they're they're just very shook. But you know, they're. Are, are they grateful? Oh yeah. Would, would either of them volunteer to have a crystal shoved in their chest? Oh, I, 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 I asked, I asked them that. 
They are reticent, but in no position to refuse. Perfect. Gormon, should we find a crystal? Uh... I kind of hate it. I mean... I look at them and say, are you saying... Are you saying yes because you think we're scary, or you're saying yes because... Yes. You're scary. Okay. Go back to your towns. Uh, tell your wives I'll see them tonight. If you really I'm want kidding. To me, I'm kidding. I won't. I won't. <laughs> I won't visit your wives. I, it was um, a joke. That'd be, that'd be I already idea. visited them them before, so it's fine. Oh, Drimble. What? Um, what? Drimble. Yes. Yeah, I'm Drimble. I, I I owe you some money. Oh. oh. The town's not on fire, so. He well, contemplated burning it to get to win a bet with you, though. So. You know, three gold? blood you know, money. For three gold. I mean, and to be right. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you for not burning down the town. Um, yes, thank you for that. The idea. I know you why guys... you're thanking me. It's not your town. True. Uh, you guys have, like, helpers or whatever. You can call them a lot of labor. What if we, like, salvage this paving? That's a lot of metal. We you use that for arms, armor for the army. We, we don't really have helpers anymore. You buy some. Yeah. You guys I'm... are the rich ones. Well, now you two are even richer. Now that you got another half of a third. True. True. Wait, why don't we just bring those? tell those guys to bring some people up here to harvest this thing? What are they going to do with it? Well, 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 we'll grab a cart off them or something and we'll take it with us. Are you really that well, hungry for money? It's just are metal. You, are you not? Well, I mean, it's... I'm trying to help what, the army. What, the, what, the, what the hell is this thing? Anyway. Uh, some metal thing? It's a metal dragon. Dragon. That sounds fairly rare. Maybe we can sell parts of it. <sighs> Maybe we should get a raven or something to the town and have them come yes. over here. I'm Jeff pretty, wouldn't work with us. He's too much of a Pretty sure where's he's my, dead. Where's my Actually, Jeff single? You know what? Yeah, we'll Jeff do single. that, Graham. We'll send we'll send a raven if we can from the town. Is that a possibility? Uh, you... Interesting. Uh, you're gonna have to go at... Broken dots. <laughs> if any, if anybody nearby would have a raven to send, it would be the village elder who you have not met, have not asked about, don't know anything about, and even then, it may be iffy at best. Let's kill him and take the raven. Okay. No. Uh, well, then I just say we ignore it and mark it down somewhere. I don't think it's going anywhere. Let's come back to life. I think we got more pressing matters than how much iron a, a, an army has behind us. So. Well, I mean, you know, dragon scales go for quite a bit. Feel free to stay here while we leave you behind. I'm just worried about what the next thing is. If this was this small crystal, what what this thing was? Who knows what that big crystal is going to bring out? Well, see, yeah, that's strange. Like, I can understand why a dragon would be up in the air. I don't know why whatever the other part of this is was up. Maybe there. It's like a giant squid or something. I don't so. Know. Only one What's way to find. Yeah. What's the plan, fearless leader? <coughs> I need a heal. Can we take a long rest? Oh yeah. To action. Long rest. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, everyone rest. Quickly, sleepy. <laughs> yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'll set up uh, an alarm around us. I mean, I can probably go and watch. Sure. I don't trust you though. I said uh, that is a good point. <laughs> That's fine. Long rest. Uh, the is that ninety nine hit points back? Yeah, mm. about eight hours go by. Uh, dinner time. There it is. Oh, looks nice. Is what this is no? <laughs> <laughs> That's impossible. His ashes are in this jar. Good point. Good point. Terrible Didn't Gormung at one point want to cook gags? Is he wanted that just to cook me. me. He oh, cook he me. wanted to cook you. Yeah, that's yeah. 
I've but never eaten it. I've never eaten it. Four gags. That's right. Hmm. Has anything happened in town? Screaming? Nope. Lame. Uh, <laughs> so let's follow the trail of this big meteorite that came down. Right, well, to, you, to, to where it landed? Hmm. You go back into town, you, you kind of like look around, take stock of what's going on. Everybody's in the tavern, uh, you know, carousing. Um, was it, you said it landed in the ocean, yeah? Yeah. Can we, can we start from the beach and look for signs of like tampering, footprints, that sort of stuff? Uh, yeah, investigation. Uh, um, the uh, yeah, Grant, you take a look around, you, you begin to look around, it looks like there's a, actually a pair of footprints, like two sets, uh, just kind of walking in this direction, they go to the water's edge, stop, turn around, go back. Ah, shit. So, probably two of the townspeople are infected. I say, we burn the town down. <laughs> I just ignore him and follow the footprints. Fair okay, so we go out to the water's edge. Uh, it's kind of low tide right now, so they're fairly far away from the water. But, uh, but yeah, that's what happens. That's what they did, apparently. They just went out into the ocean? Well, they went out, looked, stopped, turned around, went back. Did the footprints on the way back look heavier or more in the sand? Uh, like they picked something up? You can't, you can't really tell. Is, is there anything... Like the thing that they were looking at is that there. Um, as a matter of fact, you don't see anything that would re that resembles or looks like anything out of the ordinary. It just looks like ocean. <sighs> but, uh, based on your mastery of uh, you know three dimensional geometry, uh, that that thing was massive. That thing was like the size of a building. Interesting. Is there a chance that it broke apart when it hit the ground and they just picked it up? Does it look like their feet like have... So they just walked out, walked back in, yeah? No, no standing around, no like... Well, we won't be able to tell signs of a scuffle or anything like that? No. Okay. Can we follow the footprints back or are they just... Sure, yeah. I guess we follow footprints. Mm -hmm. This time it's going to be survival because the footprints on the beach are just easy to look at, but once you get past on the grass, it's harder to follow. And right. got shit. Man, my Dorman's swing... Like, there are no traps. They lift it up and flip away. <laughs> yeah. My fucking... My rolls have been swingy as fuck tonight. Gormong's just like, they walked into the sea, never to be seen again. Uh, Durinbor, uh you, you see that the, uh, the, the, the kind of trail goes back to town, splits off. Uh, one of the trails goes to one farmhouse. One of the other trails goes to the tavern. Farmhouse? Turn to the farmhouse first. Too many people yeah. in the tavern right now. All right. I heft my branch over my shoulder. Go to the farmhouse. Uh, handmade, two stories, uh, barn, stable. Or not really stable, more like a henhouse. house. Uh, like wind chimes, potted plant. Rocking chair. Knock, knock. You're, you're not in Grant? You're not just breaking in there? You're not going to punch the door down? Did I set it on fire? That's Gormung who does that. I mean, set on, I can set it on fire if you like. No. But I, I was told we're not allowed to set it on fire. We're not. Well, no. then don't suggest it. Jesus. I'm, I'm surprised with your you know, intelligent course of action. I or have... Oh, hello. Uh, the person who's there is... Um, uh, you actually think it's the sheriff uh, at first because uh, it is a dragonborn, but dressed in sort of like, uh, you know. And it's it's a dragonborn, and we're all racist. <laughs> clothing. Uh, the dragonborn itself uh, has sort of a, a, a similar scale hue uh, to the sheriff, but it's kind of got a little bit more green in it than mm -hmm. uh, than than the sheriff, so a little bit more muted uh, color. Um, she kind of looks out, uh, towering above all of you. Uh, kind of I'm seven foot. What? I'm seven foot. I'm more. Okay, so it's even taller than me? Seven, seven foot one inch. 
Yeah, you're 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 down the steps. <laughs> down the steps higher than you. Uh, he looks down. Just kind of raises raises a draconic eyebrow. Uh, good evening, sir. Um, we are in the area investigating strange phenomenon. Uh, rocks falling from the sky. Uh, we were wondering if you had heard of it. The weird stuff going on around these days. R-O-C-K. No, R-O-C, just for the record. What? R-O-C-K, not R-O-C, rocks. Okay. No, just my not friend. He's uh, had very little sleep and too much to drink. Would you, by chance, uh, happen to see anything that's fallen from the sky in the last... Yeah, I saw the thing. I was out uh, I was out with the chickens uh, earlier. I uh, saw the thing come down, went and looked, didn't see anything, didn't feel like going for a swim, so came back. How can you have seen the thing yet not seen anything? It came from the sky, you idiot. Saw it from the sky, fell into the ocean. Yeah, we, yeah. Okay. Uh, have you seen anyone, there was two sets of friends. Uh, who else went with you? Yeah, we have a friend, uh, Joe, went out. Is he, per chance, decided to investigate any further? Uh, doubt it. Hardly any of us can swim. Did you go back before him? To where? Here. Well, it's my house. So, yes. What? No, did you leave the... Yeah, that was a pretty stupid question there, Grant. Well, I mean, if he... <laughs> look, if he left before his friend, maybe his friend did something. That's I don't all know. I'm saying. What is, what's the point of these questions? Get to the uh, point. We were just asking if you had seen anything. One, uh, if not, then you'll uh, be on Okay. Uh, one final you. question uh, before you go. Okay. Do you happen to know someone who might be uh, renting uh, vessels? Uh, like, a, like a cup? Sorry. Did I say vessels? I meant boat. Oh, boats? Uh, no. We don't do a lot of fishing around here. The 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 waters water's been sour for a long time. I see. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. Um, as we're walking away, I turn to uh, Grant and I'm just like, "Do you mind uh, watching that one from a distance?" Sure. Yeah. Give us what are uh, what are my limitations? Don't kill right. him, just... We want to know if he's, you know, hiding something. So now that he understands that there's investigators in the area, he might try and move his find if he has any. Uh, don't kill him, keep an eye on him. Yes. Uh, don't be spotted, obviously. Don't be spotted. Yes. Um, and no fires. See if you can identify... No fires. Yeah, see if you can identify anyone who comes after the fact. Okay. Or if you leave. If he leaves... What should he do if he leaves? If he leaves, should he investigate the house or should he follow him? Hobble him? Follow no. him. Follow him. Follow him. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. I take my branch. Are there any <laughs> trees around I can go up into? Um, it's pretty pretty barren, uh, tree wise. It's pretty fieldy. Uh, there's a there seems to be some sort of orchard, but uh, you know, on the horizon. Uh, I'll find a. Tree, bush shrub, a a bush roof. shrub. I'll add to it. I'll add to it. I'll like. There's a there's a there's a lone bush in the middle of a field. Ah, how not to be seen. I like it. Yeah. Uh, it's actually just another person hiding in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's where that's where he hit the the meteorite. Thirty five. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so I I hide in bush. All right. There's now a second bush next to the first one. <laughs> Right, so you should be able to leave it just to him, right? We're going to try to find Joe. Well, I was thinking we could go to the tavern. That's where these other second pair of uh, prints are going towards. So, which, which is Joe? Joe. Okay, let's go there then. All right, to the tavern. Everybody's conoitering. Uh, Love a good conoiter. Yeah, oh, yeah. Doesn't. Uh, not. I mean, uh, saying it, it saying it was crowded would be. Kind of an overstatement. Uh, there's only enough like uh, carrying capacity is only like 25 people. Uh, they're not even that many. It's like 12 people maybe uh, enjoying their supper. 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> Gormung, just um, how about we follow my lead on this one? Sure. Yeah, you're full so, of uh, magical vigor. I can let you take it. All right. So I'll um, I'll sit at a table and like wave the barmaid over our server or whatever they have. Yeah, I'll sit down with you. Um, like so, um, Greg, it'd be uh, yeah, so interesting that we got sent to this town. Uh, looking for. Oh, you're addressing me. I thought you were addressing the barmaid. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, looking look for chopper over here, boys. Uh, yes, uh, Hi, I'm Greg. Great. Sorry. Um, and, I, and I'm Grant. And I'm looking, for, um, my friend and I here, we're looking, uh, we're collectors of a sort. We're looking for uh, mysterious uh, rocks or uh, magical artifacts of that knowledge. We're, I we really like rocks. Exorbit. Yes, <laughs> we're paying an exorbitant amount of God damn it, they're minerals. information for them. Or if anyone has them on hand, uh, old family heirlooms, maybe found them in the fields. Shiny Any rocks of that are my favorite, actually. Well, you've come to the right place, because just this morning, a huge rock fell out of the sky. Whoa, really? Fortune's really? <laughs> Fortune smiles upon us. Uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna need some. You're gonna need to be really good swimmers, though, because it's out there off out, off the shore. Wow. Out there in the murk. What about a boat? Do you know anyone who has a boat? That's a uh, good question, Greg. Thank you, Grant. Uh, hmm. Uh, there is a an old barnacle fisherman. Is his uh, name? Where we, might we find him? Kind of points towards the orchard. Ah, very well. The only but the only kind of fish you're gonna get out of here is is hagfish and eels and the like and stuff like that barnacles mussels that sort of thing. It's all very uh, it's all very gross. Well, if I need mussels, I got Greg right here. Ain't that right, Greg? I have the maximum mussels allowed. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, uh, thank you. We'll see. Uh, we'll see to him after our meal. Right. What are you, you cooking, by the way? Uh, well, she says we have what we have, so we'll bring you that. Looking, um, looking forward to it. I just turned to, I turned to <laughs> Jerem, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see everybody else like it's it's hard bread, uh, mm, with like, I... with like vegetable paste smeared on it and cheese melted on top. I wouldn't. I I think I know my food. That looks like a Polish dish to me. <laughs> I'm, Do me I'm a favor, a... roll me, roll me a D thirty. Oh Jesus Christ! This is how many oh, days old the meal is. Pretty funny, but no. Seven. It's it's turnip paste. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake! <laughs> Hell yeah! Now, if you, if you said you know horseradish paste, I might be down with it, but fucking turnip paste. Turnips. Turn up for what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and she brings you. She brings you some of that. Uh, just some of the cheap ale, the one with the big foam on top. Yeah, and it's like, can can you like, can you mix them? Mix mix what? The the ales. Uh, if that's what you're after. Uh, I mean, I'm an orc. That's how we roll, you know. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Mm, yes. I like I like poke the fucking bread. It's like it's like a it's like a brick that somebody like smeared paste on. And, you know like, how you, you like on. yeah you, you, you try and like salvage like old dried bread in your house because there's nothing else. Oh yeah, to eat. especially especially out here in the middle of nowhere. You, you they Gormung, you know for sure that getting good eats out out in the middle of nowhere is hard because you gotta make do of every piece. So whatever they have lying around, they gotta make. So turnips are turn, turnip season. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> well, it seems to me that I don't need potatoes. It seems they have turnips, and you're going to like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Would you rather have pizza with potato paste on it? <laughs> <laughs> rather than a turnip paste? I don't know. I, I, I would take a cheese Maybe. pizza over both of those. <laughs> well, it is Lovely cheese pizza. Cheese pizza. Just a turnip. Sauce. Turn up. Turn up sauce. Turn up mm. paste. Uh, Great. On that. 
Uh, right. So, well, welcome to our meals, um, as they are. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you, pay. you know what? You know what? This this bread doesn't taste so bad. It's mostly because Grant isn't here with us. I, yeah. I just made him watch that thing because I figured, you know. The more time I get away from that man, the happier I become. So, so Gorman, Gorman, you're you're used to cuisine. This is food. There's a big difference. Uh, uh, when you, when you stand up, you feel like there's like a a fully formed slab of turnip paste pizza in oh, your yeah. gullet. Yeah. It's just gonna come out exactly as it went in. Oh God! Like uh. There's a meal over here in Poland that does the exact same thing. It's like, um, what's it called? Uh, pierogi? Oh my god. Yeah. It like, it's basically like making a brick in your stomach. You're just like, yeah. it's a Polish <laughs> hot pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except it has cabbage in the inside and onions. Cabbage. So it's like a nightmare pocket. Nightmare <laughs> <laughs> pocket. Um, <laughs> Right, so uh, to the orchard. Should we get Grant first, or? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> what is Grant doing right now? He's just like still sitting in the bush. Bush in my bush. You know, for for a man who burnt down an entire village at one time, you sure have a lot of patience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it took me patience. ages to set to set up those traps. Yeah, it's it's the patience before that he loves. It's just the anticipation, the build up of the fire. You know, he he blue balls himself. <laughs> I mean, setting things on fire isn't a sexual thrill. Huh? Mostly. But but arranging the kerosene is. <laughs> <laughs> Watching everything burn down is. Hmm. Right. Uh, to the orchard, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, should we really go out at night? Yeah, it's nighttime now. Evening. You're right. Let's leave him there for the night. See if he finds anything. Uh, uh barmaid. Uh, sleep we, outside? Do you have any rooms? Of course. What is it going to take to know? get your most comfortable bed? Like I'm talking, like if you have to mix three beds together to make this one bed more comfortable, how much would that cost? Well, we don't. We don't have any travelers around here except you two. So you have the you have the run of the place. So what is your most comfortable bed? Uh, do you have like a uh, do you have like the the sultan's room or something? No, we have uh, rooms rooms. You know that are all kind of the same, except one slightly better than the other one. Which one's that? It's the last one on the left. Okay, I I I give her like I don't know. A silver for the food and the wine and the room. Is that enough? I think that's enough. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I go up to the room. All right. Um, it looks like a, a poorly furnished tavern style in room. Is it like the Morrowind one where it's just like a little tiny like connect? Like yeah, little... And you walk in there like, I don't know what I expected. <laughs> Uh, I checked exactly. all the bins and just found clothing. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'll take the other. All right. And, and is Gorman going to be able to sleep? Now he doesn't have his little buddy sleeping next to him? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, he got his ashes. So. <laughs> Do you usually like, go to cuddle up with this can of ashes? <laughs> I just, I just, I, you know, I put it on the bedside table. I look at him and like, Good night, gags. Just fall asleep. But right. isn't the right. can bigger than he was? Yeah. <laughs> he uh, made more right. ash than his body size. <laughs> it's it's the ash from the wood mixed in with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Grant, you stay there all night. Sun comes up. <laughs> You didn't see anything. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Gormong and Durabor come out. Uh, they have they have what appears to be uh, turnip paste in in eggs this time. Turnips. Oh Jesus! Why does it have the eggs? It's like, why is it gonna have turnip paste? 
Maybe they're trying to get rid of the turnips. Maybe it's a delicacy. Ah, oh, Grant, did you uh, find anything? Yeah. What did you do? To there your is face? a beetle halfway stuck up my ass. <laughs> I mean, why? Do, do you I, why is it that, staying or? there? Like I don't understand. Is it halfway coming out or going in? I think it was trying to worm its way in. I didn't want to move because I didn't want to alert anyone. You, is it still there? Do you like? Do you want help or? It's fine. <laughs> You're just gonna leave him there. I'm used to it now. Okay, I won't follow that through with any more questions. Uh, so you didn't see anything. Got it. Let's uh, let's go to the orchard. There's apparently an old man there house. who has a boat that we might be able to hire. Okay. Yeah. All right. So just keep things moving. You guys uh, go towards the orchard, which is on the very very extreme end of town. Um, uh, the person who lives there lives in a, uh, as far as you can tell, is the town elder. Um, who runs the orchard and also has the only uh, sort of dock, I guess if you can even call it that. It's just sort of a you know small wooden dock uh, with a boat. Uh, the boat is sort of on the dock itself, covered for winter. It's very cold. The water's very cold up there, so this is not a good time for swimming or fishing, really. Um, but yeah, through through your wiles and uh, your you know various various persuasions and whatnot. Um, he's more than willing to just let you borrow the boat because if you're gonna help them out, I mean, do what you will. Okay. W would he let us borrow a raven? Uh, you you come to learn, much to your dismay, that he does not have a a bird to send. Oh shit! Okay. Does he have the official signpost of like a, a Jeff mail stop? No, <laughs> not, not this town is actually even too small for that. Damn. But they've heard of Jeff, right? Oh, everyone's heard of Jeff, obviously. Everyone's heard of Jeff. Oh, yeah. They, they, he's got the... I mean, the guy opens the door, the village elder. He's got the pin. He's got the Dakota... <laughs> the, the secret Dakota <laughs> pin of the Jeff fan club. He's yeah. got the 12, 12 <laughs> teaspoon set of Jeff. Yeah, the secret Jeff fan club handshake. Yeah. yeah. That's why they both make, like, caca, and they touch each other's, like, hand. Like, yeah, they do that. Yeah. That's why they have a handshake and steal anything shiny like rings and stuff off each other <laughs> yeah definitely uh but yeah you guys have a boat your notion there you go great how far out you know, would you say this that is we the have second to time i've been in a boat with craig and he doesn't row no we i'm probably i'm probably the only one doing the rowing let's be real i have a would help. I, I i take two rows and i'm out in the middle of the ocean in the water murky make an investigation roll anybody who wants who's trying to look uh it's probably gonna be me it's gonna be me. not very hard to see uh yeah grant and gormong and uh, even <laughs> uh you guys roll out uh using your using your uh knowledge of you know vector geometry um mm. you get a good sense of the area of where it was um and your investigation in the area reveals that you see this huge bulbous object that looks to be about 150 feet across like vaguely circular um underneath the water all right it's gonna be hard to shove that in someone's chest i um i will take off my armor because i imagine yeah. it'll be very hard to swim down there yeah um and i uh, hard to swim. you can oh, get down there yeah Maybe I bring like a rope or something so you guys like and attach to like because I imagine there's a crystal, right? I don't bring my axe with me because I can like you know sh wiggle it with my fingers and you know try and crack. Is it actually is there a pickaxe I can bring with me or something or a chisel? Uh, I think there's one in oh. your pack. I mean, you can... Oh yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll bring that down with me and I'll just uh, swim down, Graham. All right, so you. Yeah. All right, you swim down. Athletics check. This is why I'm making it. Right. Yeah, yeah, the Seventeen. Yeah. Uh, you swim down this huge mass, and you realize that uh, just based on your as, as you swim down, you're getting a look at it. Um, it. It appears to be this huge chunk of meteorite, this huge rock, this huge space rock. And as you kind of look around, uh, as you begin to, you're swimming very efficiently with that seventeen. So you're getting quite a good look. Uh, this huge chunk of rock. But protruding from part of the rock is this sort of metal extrusion. Um, 
there's a metal dome on one piece of the of the rock. Okay. Um, I guess I swim around to see the front of the dome. Okay. Investigation roll. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, you, you begin to kind of look around it. It's definitely metal. You can take a look at it. You're, you're feeling it. You're touching it. It looks, seems to be made of steel. Uh, but there's also uh, a pane of glass over the whole way to go. Okay. So there's this metal dome and then a metal and then a glass strip is separates it, you. Is there like a, so if I look in, is it watertight in there? Like, how does it, how does it look down there? It appears so. You look inside and you see that there's there is in fact a room in there. It appears to be some sort of there's a lot of stuff in there. Okay. Um, so I want to see. Yeah, there it doesn't appear to be any water inside. All right. Um. Now, Graham, would our cane lock be able to use, or like if I had like um. Ah. Uh, I want to see, is there like, I want to see if I can like break the glass, go in and then heal it, heal the glass. Something like that. Is there a uh, spell? If you could. If I had what? Mending? mending. Yeah. Mm, I don't have mending. Uh, okay. Um, is there a way that I could uh, potentially like, like, re like just build like, like would arcane lock work? Uh, you'd have to find a door. Okay. So if I found a door and broke it, yeah, I'd be able to use arcane then, lock to close it, yeah? Yeah. Would it be water well, you tight? Gotta, you got to go back up for air. You go back up. Yeah. I explain what I've seen down there. All right. Oh, that seems weird. It's like a Someone spaceship like, or something. A ship, like a boat in the stars? Yeah. Like water tight, but for like air and stuff. Hmm. So it's like, so it's like one of the gods, one of their hmm. carts or something that they live in. Hmm. Yeah. That, I don't know. It seems very strange. Uh, what if we have? Um, hmm. You didn't see any other entrances. No, not that I could find. I could go back down. Only we had some kind of a. Uh... Oh, Gormung, I have an idea. Okay. okay. We're going to take your cooking pot. We're going to do We're going to turn it upside down and make it into a diving bell. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe. Uh, guys, do you want to maybe call it there? I'm sorry. I'm getting real fucking sleepy again. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's All a right. good. Well, let's get inside and then we'll start. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Um,. So yeah, I'll uh, I guess I'll use the cooking pot as a as a like a, a you know an air bell bell or something. So I get like a bag of sand on either side to keep it upright in the water, um, okay. so I can get some breath while I'm down there. And I'm gonna investigate the rest of the device, see if I can find any more doors. With enough time and with enough uh, sort of dives, um, this thing has flipped over. Uh, this sort of ship or whatever has flipped over, so the actual door, like the hatch on the bottom. You find, but it is facing upward, so you'd have to get in real quick and shut it. You still get some water in there, and over time you'd get some water in there, get some water in there, get some water in there. Can I use the arcane there. lock and make it like yeah. watertight? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's a ritual. No, that's a prep. Okay, so I can't do that. Cool, yeah, perfect. Um, so I'll do that. Um, is Grant going to come with us? Yep. Yep. I guess that's going. I'm yeah, in. can I bring my armor with me by chance, or is like, can I like swim it down somehow? Uh, yeah, uh, with once you know, once you know exactly where you're going, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Um, you just get in there. You get into this this thing. You crawl in through the through the hatch and drop down. Uh, you're in this sort of very small uh, room, but you can see through to the larger chamber inside. You see uh glowing runes what appear to be glowing panes of glass uh very bizarre very arcane looking stuff inside um the very last thing you see or that grant sees uh with his incredible passive perception um 
looking out of the window, like the 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 window that's that's there upside down in a, in this very bizarre looking seat, is another one of those creatures, another sort of metallic dragon. Uh, its eyes, however, are black, like inactive. Okay. And that's where you guys will stop. That's where we'll stop. All right. Uh, Ooh. great. Graham, did we get maybe like I don't know. <laughs> A bit more XP. Uh, sure. Let's take. Let's all take twenty-five more XP. Twenty. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> twenty-five more XP. Okay. So what? What did we get for the in total? Uh, well. Let's, let's, Nine thousand five hundred twenty-five. No, let's go. Let's call it an even ten thousand. Ten thousand. Okay. okay. Oh, dude, I'm like fucking. I'm like 800 points away from level 10. <sighs> close. You're close. Uh, okay. And we could kill. Oh, no, you don't want to kill. Yeah, yeah. I kill Graham. Level 10. <laughs> I kill Graham. I kill the GM <laughs> of the game, and I get 800 experience points. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, let's do some shout outs then, yeah? Hmm? Uh, Mr. Sheepdog, what up, sir? How you doing? Hey there, guys. I'm Sheepdog. Sheepdog Gaming on YouTube. Search for me and you can find me. Uh, I had a lot of fun being a bush today. Turns out <laughs> better than it's cracked up to be. Mm, yeah. <laughs> being in a bush has is has all the tush. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. More more pushing for the cushion. Yeah, yeah. More pushing for the cushion. <laughs> okay, yeah, well. um... Or just general good game GG for gags. Yeah, mm -hmm. GG for gags. Yeah. Well played, gags. Well played. Um, let's talk to Floof. What up, sir? How you doing? Oh, what up? Hello. Um, I'm so glad I was able to help my co-adventurers today by being unconscious yeah. on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, and <laughs> this whole time, just dream was just in like a pile of like logs and just like. <laughs> um, just to wake up to find out that the little one is gone uh, and everyone is sad um, but uh, because of that I'm now, because I rolled successful death saves, I'm level 9 so yay um, didn't roll a 1 for HP I didn't it roll like... a 1 for HP I got a, I got a 5 so that's you got a five? way nice, better man. than 1 uh, yeah, uh, I will I'm not sure what I'm doing um, I don't know words, things, uh I'll figure out what I'm doing tomorrow. Nice. Come by, follow me. You'll see. My hair will be back to its natural fluffiness. And last but not least for our players, uh, the Immortal Gags is no more longer. I tried my best, but your rolls were just fucking... Hey, oh my god. Holy shit. I mean, shit. that's... I, I wasn't joking when I said they were the worst in the, the, the three years of doing this with you. That, I've yeah. never rolled that bad. I think you should roll up a, like a constitution only character. You yeah. in a fighter? <laughs> yeah. Like, as it turns out, fighters are pretty fucking hard to kill in this game. So I've, like, I've got a, I've got a, a, a pretty good idea. I've been, I've been thinking while you guys were, were, were doing your stuff there. Alien so, paladin. So we'll, uh, we'll. Yeah, some sort of alien. I'll, I'll dig that. Yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we'll, we'll see. Brian, if you want to be something weird, only because of the happened the circumstances we happen to be in, I'll allow it. I do not like uh, like races and stuff, but because you're in a spaceship, whatever, man. Hey, no, be, we'll, we'll, we'll be see. Be the space dragon that we just saw. <laughs> him. Dude, be a minotaur. Oh my god. I I have an idea. Be one of those go one of those Goliaths. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Yeah. I have an idea. All right, great. So, when you are you still streaming these days, Brian? Um, not as much, uh, but uh, I'm gonna be getting back into that. Uh, my YouTube channel is going from mostly playthroughs to it's gonna be reviews. Uh, my first review will hopefully be out by the end of this weekend, and the uh, uh, podcast is still going strong. Motion sickness, the show. So you can find that on uh, iTunes and SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we have Graham, our GM for the show. What up, sir? How you doing? 
Um, well, I'll have to leave you guys with a song. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, anyway, here's, yeah. uh, here's Wonderwall. Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> I'll always be making... Always be building... And... Yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> YouTube channel, always be making... A lot of stuff happening. It's all in my brain right now. It's been some trouble and some vacations and stuff, getting things going, but that's sort of the rub, I guess. Nice. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. So we're ending a little bit early. I am pooped as fuck. Um, if you haven't already done so, consider following the channel, and if you're feeling real saucy, why not subscribe? Get access to my cock. Spread that all over Twitch. Um, in terms of what's going on, right after this, I'll be starting the weekly Die Party replay, which is a, uh, a rerun of all the episodes of Die Party that we've had so far. There's not going to be any, um, not going to be any uh, um, old school stuff this week, mostly because I didn't get a chance to upload any. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, you know. Have something for you next week. Uh, Sunday we will have uh, Die Party's Die Party Whiskers and Whiskey, 5 p.m. PST. Mouse Guard, come for that. It's a pretty fucking cool game. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a good night. Bye bye. Rest in peace, gags.